Hey, everybody. It's the Leo and Danny show. Whoa. Oh, I said your name and you said my name. I like it. Oh, it was brotherly that was really love. cute. It was brotherly love. You guys, please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll get this thing growing. It's been doing great lately. We got some big sponsorships coming in. Help us out. We appreciate your support. The encouragement means a lot to us, guys. And also, we have our Patreon for those who want an extra episode every week. It's great. We win. You win. Enjoy the rest of the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Leo and Danny show. Yes. Cheers. <sighs> we have a big weekend coming up, Leo. NFL yeah. football. I know you love it. I know it's it's the modern day warfare. It's the gladiator games. Absolutely. Of the modern world. Absolutely. Violent. I can't take my eyes off the screen. And this Saturday and Sunday, I've got my calendar cleared. I'm going to do nothing but eat edibles, eat popcorn and watch Jesus. fucking football. Edibles. Does it make sense to you more the game when you are a little high? Absolutely. It does. I can see that. Baseball does, too. It slows it down for me. Yeah. Not that I need the game to be slowed down because, well, let's, let's face it, I'm an expert of all things football. And I've got some picks that are going to make everybody in our audience a lot of money. Somebody on the line right now, though. This isn't an ad, by the way. I know it might sound like one so far. But this, <laughs> this is, is not no a, ad. This is not an ad. It's just Danny. He's really pumped about but football. Be so because I'm so passionate about making our fans money. Yeah. We've recently done some ads with my, uh, mybookie.ag. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get a second opinion on how the games are going to go down this weekend. So I've brought in John Middlecoff. John Middlecoff, everybody. Yeah. From the Three and Out podcast, which I listen to religiously. Three and Out. I listen to it when I'm in the shower, after jujitsu, on the ride homes from the gym, whenever I'm trying to unwind at night, not mm -hmm. think about work stuff. He's here. John, say hello. Honored to be on, fellas. How's it going? Oh, yeah. It's, Hell yeah. It's going great. John's great. He's a great football analyst, but the thing I like about him in his podcast, he's a true dirtbag like us. Wow. This guy's not afraid to speak his mind, to drop some F-bombs, mm -hmm. to, to take on the, uh, the non-politically correct media stance that everybody else on Twitter or the podcast scene is taking. That's great. That's great. Do you have an example for us? Or? Yeah. I, I really like his take on the whole Antonio Brown situation. What do you call him? <laughs> what did he call him? Yeah, did he call him a little bitch or something? <laughs> he, I don't did he call him a little bitch? John, what was your take on the Antonio Brown situation? Well, generally? my takeaway is like, listen, everyone I've ever met has a lot issues going on. I've never met anyone that doesn't have issues. Yeah. Sure. The, when, I, when I was a kid, my parents, like some people are just bad people. And they'd be like, you know, that's a bad guy. Stay away from him. That's a good guy. Stay by him. What happened to us is being like, Antonio Brown, bad guy. You know, like mm. the resume, we've seen it now for a while, just bad guy you know well, he's like you can't always well he's got issues yeah so does so do most people yeah. like, let's just let's just call a spade a spade antonio brown sketchy character absolutely sketchy character and i'm pissed too because i'm a tampa bay fan and him walking off the field is bad news right before the playoffs well and then he, and then he, how about when he was talking shit last week about brady it's like brady was the only reason he was in the league yeah, and Brady, by the way, he called Brady a fake friend. Brady, to my knowledge, had Antonio Brown living in his, Brady's house with Brady's family yeah. to make sure that Antonio Brown was all right. That doesn't sound too fake to me. Yeah, somebody was spreading rumors saying that they were having threesomes. Antonio Brown, Tom Brady, and Giselle. Is that out on Twitter now? Yeah, it's out on Twitter now, dude. It's, we started it. It's your fault, dude. See, those are the kind of distractions that Tom Brady doesn't need yeah. for a big playoff no, run. Does yes. not. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Antonio Brown has, I think, six or seven kids, and I think the women counts about five, five women, six kids or something. So he's that's so, responsible he's of him. You well, know, at least yeah. he had two children with one of the women, which is that's yeah. some sort of continuity. Nice. He waited a little bit. Yeah. How? We wonder how how long after the pregnancy he had sex again. I'm curious. Uh, he's probably uh, used to those tight bodies. Uh, you know. I do not know. We're not going to speculate about that right now, Leo, because <laughs> I want to get into some picks. Some picks. Again, we've been doing a little bit of sports gambling. This is week one of the playoffs? It, this is going to be week one of the playoffs. NFL Super Wild Card Weekend. And I am something of a mystic when it comes to predicting football outcomes. <laughs> and often, I find that my picks are more accurate than John Middlecoff's. Oh, wow. Well, is he... He's a bit of more of an expert than you, though. I mean, if you had to say, isn't he like your professor and you're just like maybe a, a, a student? Listen. Maybe not a student. You're like a TA that you're 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 working yourself up to being the professor. But you're not really. Listen, Leo, I wasn't a three time letterman at Casa Roble Fundamental High School for nothing. You were a three time letterman. 
<laughs> I was a three-time I was a three-time Letterman. Holy I, shit! I, I know. I made my bones outside the hashes. But it was before or after was you got throwing... expelled. Was it before or after you got expelled? <laughs> Listen, when I transferred to Bella Vista, I was a letterman uh-huh. there as well. Oh shit! Okay, I didn't know. They threw the wait, wait. The, you got you got booted from Casa Robles and had to I go got, to Bella Vista. I got booted from Casa Robles. John Middlecoff <laughs> is from Davis, right outside. Of I know the I know I got, the area well. Listen, mm-hmm. Trent Burrows was the quarterback at BV. John, they threw him out on his ass when Danny Mullen walked in the door. <laughs> 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 I so that's why I have John Middlecoff was a scout for the Philadelphia Eagles. That doesn't mean shit when facing a a, a rock solid, honest to God, great high school quarterback like myself. Three time, three time Letterman, three time Letterman, (laughs) three time. What were your, what what was your best statistical season? I threw for five thousand yards in '07. What? I threw for five thousand. That's a record. That's a that's a California State record. So (laughs) I ran for two thousand my junior year. You ran for two thousand. You were running. They they called me the road runner. (laughs) Oh, I see that. I could see it because you were really thin in high school. I I see the road runner. They called me the goddamn road runner. So right now, John Middlecoff. Him and I are going to go head to head on some picks. You guys, I know our audience fancies themselves brainiacs. They can use their intellect and decide who's got the better take. John, the first game I want to talk about, the one that I got my eye on, Saturday evening, the Patriots versus the Bills. What are you thinking? I'm going Bills, Josh Allen, California guy, you know, Belichick. Patriots kind of running on fumes right now. Their mm-hmm. Alabama quarterback, Mac Jones, looks kind of shitty lately. Mm. Um, I like I like the Bills. Remember, it wasn't that long ago when Belichick kicked their ass on that Monday Night Football game when it was, you know, eighty mile an hour winds and the quarterback yeah. only threw it three times. But uh, the Bills beat him a couple weeks ago. This game's in Buffalo. I'm, I'm sure I know you guys have seen those videos of those guys jumping on the tables. That yeah, place is going to be going ape shit. I, I can see you guys liking Buffalo. the Bills Mafia. You guys kind of feel like Bills Mafia. We, like Bills we would Mafia. fit in. We would fit right in. But. Danny would insult yeah. the wrong guy there, and we'd uh, we'd probably get chased out of some kind of party for sure. Yeah, it's, it's possible. I, I think you're right, Leo. We would know that. We just tried to have a crew Vegas trip, John, and the first night we got in the brawl, a massive brawl. Yeah. And the last time we were in Vegas, a guy in our crew got flatlined, but almost died. Yeah. So we violence follows us wherever we go. No doubt it would follow us to Buffalo. But your take, John, is not a very good one. And I'm going to tell you why. Mm. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the New England Patriots possess a long snapper named Joe Cardano. Mm. Good Italian man. This guy, yeah. this guy snaps laser beams. Mm-hmm. All right. There's also rumors about on Reddit that he's just <laughs> he has a hammer. The guy's got a huge, huge penis. Listen to me, I don't John. know. Yeah, John, answer me this: Is confidence before a game important or not? Very. You know, look good, think good, feel good, play good. Mm-hmm. And you're going to feel good and play good if you've got a bigger penis than the opposing <laughs> long snapper. All right? It starts yeah. with the long snapper. It moves mm-hmm. to the punter slash holder, and then it follows through to Nick Folk or whoever the fuck the kicker is on the Patriots. Yeah. That special teams unit is elite because of Joe Cardona. It's going to show on Saturday evening. Long snapping is it's just vital. It's Patriots vital. by a field goal. Because wow. of the long snapper. You're right, Leo. He's Can't perfectly. So you, you don't even give a shit about Belichick. You're just going the long snappers, the difference. Belichick is the most overrated personality in all of pro sports. Yeah. Joe Cardona has been a part of that team since 2018. What happened in 2018, John? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Patriots get a ring. Mm-hmm. Coincidence? No. Coincidence? No. What happened the year before without Joe? Tell me that, John. Lost to the Eagles. You need to hire me as a research assistant. All right. You know your you know your shit. I'll give you that. I'm a detail oriented guy. Moving right along. The Eagles versus the Buccaneers. What do you like? How about I go oh. curveball here, and I go Philly in the upset. Wow. Philly in the upset. Think right. about this, Tom Brady. I, yeah. He's 66 years old. He's won 75 Super Bowls. He just wins yeah. it every year. <laughs> yeah. Eventually. Yeah. You just you just have a clunker. Clunker. And they've had a bunch of injuries. Uh, you know, Antonio Brown just did cartwheels off the field two weeks ago. <laughs> that could fire up the team, though, you know. Le- Le'Veon Bell, who was just out of football, they, they were so desperate they had to sign him. If you remember, years ago, him and LeGarrette Blunt 
driving to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were playing for the Steelers on a preseason game, and they were both getting high, and they got pulled over. And as the other cars on the team, but they got pulled over, and, and Le'Veon got a DUI, and LeGarrette Blunt had to get a ride to the, to the team. Do you remember that, Danny? That moment? I, you know, I, I don't remember that because I think that I was, was studying one. tape. I think I was studying tape. I'm not distracted by petty DUI cases in the NFL. But I think what you're trying to bring up, John, you're trying to slander the good name of Le'Veon Bell, saying he's some sort of addict. No, I'm, I'm pro-weed, but I just, uh, I'm, I'm anti-Levy on the player. Levy on the at player this, at this point. At this point in time, Le- he was sweet. Mar- he was sweet Mar- like five years ago. He's still sweet. And I'm going to tell you why, John. What did Marshawn Lynch like to do before he went out and played football? Eat Skittles. Eat he Skittles. Took, he took a couple of shots of Henny, buddy. He would take yeah, two shots Henny. of Hennessy. <laughs> Le'Veon Bell. The higher he is before the game, the better in my mind. I hope he gets a DUI on the way to the stadium this Saturday. It's a dance. All right. Mm-hmm. You're telling me what you're telling me right <laughs> now. If Vegas is listening, the odds are going to shift because that's just good for us. That dude Perryman. Have you seen that receiver? Monster. He's looking like Deshaun Hopkins out there. Is it Deshaun Hopkins? Is that a guy? Deshaun Hopkins. Uh, uh, no, legend. DeAndre. 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 You DeAndre. Missed, you missed Deshaun like, Watson, DeAndre Hopkins. They were teammates. So yeah, I, I think I, you're I wrong. It's Deshaun one. Hopkins, dude. It's Deshaun, Deshaun Hopkins. Hopkins. Yeah. Listen, I am a veritable <laughs> Rolodex of football players' names, okay? Sometimes a first Snap off last... three. Snap off three real quick. Well, first of all, we've got our boy. What's his name? Joe Cardano. Great, great man. Joe Cardano. Nick Fo- yeah. Best snap, long snapper ever. Nick Folk. And uh, Johnny Unitas. Johnny Unitas was a, that's a good one. There's three. Oh. Name three football players, John. Uh, Joe Namath, uh, Y.A. Okay. Tittle. Okay. And, and uh, Mike Ditka. Nice, dude. Mike Ditka. He knows his stuff. Those Mike Ditka, names. one time when I, when I hosted a radio show, Mike Ditka screamed at me and hung up. He's, he's an edgy old SOB. I'll tell you. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say Joe Ditka and all those guys, they all sound like men who have at one point Mike laid Ditka. hands on their wives. Mike Ditka <laughs> probably backhanded his wife in the Super Bowl ring, got a hitter, caught like an ear or something. But uh, yeah, rules, rest in peace. Society a little different in the sixties, you know. Fuck yeah, was that dude. is that what he played in the sixties? Yeah, there was. He rest in peace, Mike Ditka. Though he had a good long life for uh, for a football player, though. So you got to give him give him that, man. Mike Ditka uh, dead. Yeah, I mean, is, didn't Ditka die? You don't know anything about Ditka, do you? I'm pretty sure he died. What's dude. his name? Mike I Ditka. Still, I think Ditka's still alive. Let God me see. damn it, dude. Let me see Mike Ditka. <laughs> yeah, he's he's 82 years old. He's, abs- he's absolutely still alive. <laughs> damn it. Oh. Yeah, Dick, is um, still, Dick is still going strong. Uh, Madden died. Madden died. That's how, who died. How did you get those two confused? All right, well, that's very similar. If you don't mind, I'm going to, John, really quickly scroll through Ditka's personal life section here on Wikipedia and see if he beat anybody up. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah. He's a practicing Roman Catholic. He lives in Naples, Florida. He had a heart attack while playing golf. A lot of heart attacks. That's what I thought he died, dude. One DUI. One DUI. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Next, we're going to move along, John. This is the last game we're going to analyze right now. Cardinals, Rams, what are you thinking and why? Really quick, you know my favorite NFL DUI is the coach. I think for the Lions, the D-line coach, who went through the Taco Bell drive through naked. Do you remember that one? Oh, no. my God. That's incredible. You, you, yeah, you guys need to Google this. The guy goes through the drive through naked. What? And uh, within probably the last decade, uh, that's right up your guy's alley. La- Ex-Lions oh, yeah. assistant coach Joe Colon blames naked trip to, I'm clicking on the article, to Wendy's on a blackout. To a, a man of good taste, Wendy's. I mean, yeah, it's a yeah. good. They well, originated spicy, spicy the dollar chicken, menu. Spicy chickens, hard to beat. Oh yeah, you know? spicy chickens are they're only about a dollar fifty nowadays. And something about yeah. those square no freeze patties, mm-hmm. it, it yeah. really makes the difference. Uh, and I like their ice cream personally. They're, I, I, I do the think shiver. They're, uh, yeah, the shiver. It's a good one. I think that's what Joe Colin went there to seek out. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna move on to the Cardinals and the Rams. What are you thinking, John? You know, I was just at the game yesterday. That place is incredible, by the way. SoFi Stadium looks like a fucking spaceship. Yeah. And uh, the Rams are shaky. You know, the Stafford makes a lot of money, a lot of hype. He throws a lot of interceptions. But I do not trust the Cardinals. Have you seen their coach? Too good looking to be a coach. Mm -hmm. Never won a big game in his life. Uh, I, I would hammer the Rams in this game. 
What about Sean McVay? I mean, Sean McVay is sort of good looking, but he has a haircut yeah. like a fourth grader. And I'm tired of this douchebag running into the end zone every first down pickup. Can't be I'm doing tired that. of this guy. I'm can't so tired. That. You can't be doing that. I didn't watch the game yesterday, and my mom texted me that they kicked him out of the end zone. I thought they kicked him out of the game. For, for anybody who doesn't know, this coach, Sean McVay, when I, I was actually at SoFi too, John, when they played Tampa Bay earlier this season in week three, and Sean McVay kept running into the tunnel and into the end zone that game too. I hated it, and I heard yesterday, or I thought I heard that he got ejected when he ran into that end zone to celebrate. The, the, ref, the ref just screamed at him to go back. But, then, I, but then, the, then the Niners started kicking the shit out of him. I love it. I fucking love it. And I hope the next time he does that, they, they decide to punish him with an execution. I would not mind if Sean McVay, with his fourth grade haircut and his skin tight Under Armour top, were summarily executed for excess celebration. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck Sean McVay. I hate the Rams. I'm a Tampa fan. And I, I, they beat the shit out of Tampa last year. I spend way too much money on tickets with my family to go this year. And they beat him again. And Sean McVay is doing celebratory dances five feet in front of my face. What kind of dances are we talking He's about? He's doing like hula shit. I don't know. Is, it, is he you, good? You, is he a good you dancer? Guys, you guys know Danny Trejo, the actor? Yeah. yeah. I, I sat next to him at the game yesterday. Oh, fuck yeah. What's his take on the Rams? Uh, he had a minus three and a half. He told me so. He was pissed when the night. I guess yeah, the Niners they didn't cover. Yeah. L.A. guy. Trio. Listen, the, the fucking Rams. I don't know what it is. When I first moved down to L.A., I liked them, but all these big signings, the way they just booted Jared Goff's ass to Detroit, something about the whole franchise rubs me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I hope they're a little the, they're a little arrogant for a team that's never won a, a Super Bowl. You know, at least this group of guys. You know, it's just no one cares about winning games in October, fellas. Absolutely. And I think Aaron Donald, this is a controversial take, John. I think he's a big puss. Nice. I walk into Mr. Chow's. I slip the Mater D a C note. I see Aaron Donald at my go-to booth, Mm -hmm. eating with his wife in the place where me and my girlfriend should be dining. So, John, what do I do? I walk up to him. I tell him as far as D tackles go, I make him look like a crippled beagle mm-hmm. as far as rushing the quarterback skills. Jeez. That's what he looks like compared to me. Yeah. A when you when dunk. you were a th- when you were a three-time letterman, he never would have chased you down. Listen to me. <laughs> John, sometimes they throw me in on defense just because I was so versatile and so prolific. Yeah. yeah. They would throw yeah, me quick. in. I, yeah. He even did punt returns. He even he returned the punts too. <laughs> John, all three sides yeah. of the ball. Can mm-hmm. you say all three sides? I am a superior athlete. So I <laughs> yeah, want I walk up to Aaron Donald. I tell him he blows at rushing pass, mm-hmm. and I grab his plate of chicken chow mein and capsize the bowl over his head. Mm-hmm. And I tell him, listen, bitch, if you don't wear this plate like the helmet of an English soldier in World War I for the remainder of the night, I will find you, and I will smack you. Mm-hmm. He kept, uh, yeah, man, he made him wear it the whole time, and he had to act like one of the uh, trench warfare uh, like English guys, and he kept like ducking into the booth, like behind the booth, yeah. kind of hiding from fire the rest of the time. I, it was I pretty could, wild. I could see, I could see that. Yeah, yeah, it was I wild. T- I told him, <laughs> I told him to pretend there were Germans, John. Right. I said the whole, <laughs> I said the whole night. If you're not fan, if you don't start picturing, right, the staff of this restaurant mm-hmm. is Germans mm-hmm. bent on your destruction. <laughs> I'm, I'm also gonna smack you. And, and you know what? Nobody really knows about this. The TMZ, the the, the paparazzi, they weren't there, mercifully. They got paid off Aaron. by that. I, I think I have a theory they got paid off by the team so they wouldn't information wouldn't get out. I, they have enough money. Yeah. Aaron has enough money personally. Yeah. He so paid that's how it off. went. Basically, me, a, a low tier podcaster from Los Angeles, punked the allegedly number one defensive player in the NFL. Mm-hmm. And for that reason, I think they're weak as an organization. And I think they're going to fall to the Cardinals this weekend. You like Arizona Monday night in SoFi Stadium? No Listen to chance. me, John. Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me, you piece of shit. I'll fucking walk up to San Francisco and smack you, too. All right, I'll give you the Aaron Donald treatment. If the Cardinals I- lose, I will personally drink my own piss on this podcast for the whole podcast. Oh, come on. I will I will piss in one of those decorative Las Vegas oh, blender cups. No. And, and I will fill it up to the top and I will drink it down. 
We're talking. Well, where are we going to get gallons. one? Though? You better order it on Amazon tonight, dude. You better order it I immediately because I, I don't think it's going to get drink, here. I will leisurely drink huge quantities of piss. Let me worry about how I'm going to get that. Get that cup, dude. The cup is the necessary step there. I want right. to watch that. So you got to I'm going to hit you up next week so I can watch it on YouTube. So you think Arizona is, is going to lose for sure? I think they're I think they're going to get their ass kicked. The Cardinals? Listen to me, John. I'm going to have your career, bitch. All right. <laughs> can, can, can I can I ask you about a game then? Ask me about a game, any game. What about the? I, I think the biggest game of the weekend: Cowboys Niners. A little yeah, little throwback to the nineties, back when they were. That sweet. is a good game. That's easy. Draw. Somebody <laughs> called it the Cholo Bowl. Somebody sense. called it the Cholo Bowl. It is kind of the Cholo Bowl. Wait, wait, wait Forty Niners, were you, Cowboys. How the Cholo? Wait, 40, the, what do you mean? Forty. What are both fan groups have a, t- a tendency to have a few Cholos. What, the Forty Niners. Yes. The, 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 they got the ghetto cholos up in the Bay Area. Dude. I mean, th- they got the Nortenos. When, when, I, when I think about a Latino fan base, the 49ers are like the 10th team that comes to mind. What are you talking it's about? It's still up in the, you know, it's one of the top Latino. Te- it's in California. It's no, it's, it, that, how many 49er jerseys do you see it like when you're getting your ass beats will be on the weekends every now and then? John, I want to let you know we have three Latinos in this room right we now. Do. So we what do. We're we're I, I, you know I, I always thought this. I used to do stuff with the Raiders. And I was going to the mm-hmm. Coliseum, and and back before the Niners went to Levi's, they'd go to Candlestick. Mm-hmm. You know the Raiders; they just have everyone acts like you know you get shot or whatever when you go there. I always was more. You guys wouldn't be phased, but you know a, a wuss like me, fucking head on a swivel Candlestick. That place was the hood, mm-hmm. and I that that was okay. an underrated tough guy place. Okay, then I predict a stabbing in the parking lot. <laughs> Is that fair, John? <laughs> There's going to be a World? fight. Yes, I predict a stabbing in the parking lot and a draw in a childbirth. How come nobody ever talks about the owner of the Cowboys, the pictures of the young co-eds he had, like, blowing him? Nobody ever talks about these pictures. Is that true, John? Can you comment on that? Yeah, I mean, is he not allowed to get a blowy from a couple strippers? You know what I mean? What's, <laughs> why can't the old guy have You're absolutely party? right. There was nothing wrong with it. I well, support like it. A, I just said, I got canceled, when, uh, man. I I got canceled for stuff that I did. I didn't really think was that big of a deal. So I just kind of want to group everybody into it. You know what I mean? Well, remember <laughs> yeah, when Robert Kraft, remember when Robert yeah. Kraft got the hand job at Orchids of Asia? Yeah. And it was, it turns out it was from the owner of the establishment. It was like 45, like. Just two consenting adults, you know, whether yeah, he's right. or not, who cares? Like, what? Right. He was and he's also, a single guy. He's not. Yeah, who gives like, a fuck? I'm not even. He wasn't. His wife wasn't at home. And if, exotic now, was it was are... it a little weird? Was it a little weird that it was in Florida on a Sunday when they were playing the AFC Championship game in Kansas City? So he later boarded a private jet after his handy and went to watch his team win, yeah, win in Kansas City and make the Super Bowl. Maybe a little, but you know, we need to listen, take a little edge. Sounds like a great day, though. Listen, I, sometimes you just form a one-on-one relationship with a very special masseuse. Yeah. And convenience be damned. You got to get down to Florida to see your woman. My, your uh, sir, I go I go to the same I go to the same lady. She fingers my ass the exact way that I prefer. I go at least once a week. Yeah. If getting jerked off at a massage parlor is a crime, then Leo should get the death penalty. I should be put away for life. Also, watch your language, Leo. Sorry about that. This is sir. an honorable man, John. Sorry Malikoff. about that. Though Sorry, some of his sir. picks tonight have been dog shit. I'm honestly quite disappointed, John. Listen, John, I know you got to go watch this college game. Yeah, I got to go. And he, we, what do we got? Georgia versus who? We got Georgia versus Alabama. Okay. I'm taking Georgia on the under. They're three point dogs mm-hmm. right now, given six. Mm-hmm. They're surefire bet. One more thing. <laughs> Can I just. I remember that there was a really a really big man that came out of the closet earlier this year. How did what kind of season did he have so far in the NFL? John, do you oh, know the dude from the Raiders? Uh, yeah, I think he's just a backup. He's just a rotate. He's not like a starting. Player he wasn't even him. a starter. God damn it, dude! No, he was, well. but he's he's solid. Yeah, he's solid. Yeah. John, when I, when I worked, at, yeah, I just yeah. I didn't what were you saying, man? No, I'm sorry, man. Continue. Remember when uh, when Gruden got in trouble? Yeah, and uh, he refused to talk to the press because the press wanted to talk to him immediately. Because remember, a lot yeah. of Gruden's emails were like anti-gay. Yeah, and but that guy, you know, Gruden was the guy signing all the players. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Gruden signed him to a pretty big contract. You know, he's probably uh-huh. torn, right? Uh-huh. You know, I mean, this guy just this guy just changed Gruden changed the guy's life financially yeah. forever. Yeah, you, know, you get tw- twenty million dollars or whatever. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, man. How about, uh, how about I mean, John Gruden gets fired? And his team makes the playoffs. He'll yeah. be back. He'll be back. Yeah, man. If, I mean, if you dug up all the messages I sent over Facebook and Instagram from 2012, I'd be nailed to a cross right now. Do you think eventually <laughs> every single direct message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
all comes out over time in the well, world. John, I think if I, I think if the government has it in for you, yes, yeah. because as the movie Snowden showed me, the government can access any of your personal messages on any platform at any time. Yeah. So you better not commit access? an act of treason. They have that access. Yeah, yeah. that's what I guess that's what Snowden revealed. They that have was after 9-11. After 9-11, that's what happened. The uh, what, what Patriot Act. The Patriot Act. Yep. It's fucking right. it's fucking gnarly, dude. And if the government wants to nail you, they can do so whenever. But thankfully, it seems like we're moving toward a place where there's going to be a lot of decentralized platforms where eventually there isn't going to be somebody like Facebook or Google who can just remove your account. Mm -hmm. And even people who get quote unquote canceled as hard as you can get canceled will still be able to flourish and do their thing despite somebody digging up messages from 10 years ago. Yeah. Are you, are you a big crypto guy? Because it's crashing right now heavily, and I'm losing some cash. I'm losing some cash, too, John. It's We're not losing time. it because we haven't sold. All right? Let's be patient. 12 to 16 months, boys. Yeah. We'll that's be very, fine. Very true. You got to ride this shit out, right? I, I ride it I, have been, I was trying to talk my dad into buying Bitcoin over Christmas break, and he's been sending me nothing but negative articles about Bitcoin. Oh, he's, you must down. really not have a good relationship with your he, father. He's been talking shit. Damn, dude. Well, you, yeah, you an, old, an older guy not in the loop him. right now. Everything's crashing. They ain't touching that with a 10-foot pole. And they love it, too. They love it. They, they, want, they, they want it to fail, and they want everyone to lose their money. Absolutely. Yeah, why are they so mean? Oh, even their own kin. Yeah, why? Yeah, your dad definitely. I mean, I think that there's a, a competition about every father and son. I I'm think not so. sure. Yeah, you shouldn't be flexing on them too much. But, uh, John, you were awesome, dude. It was great to have you here. I disagree with all your picks, however. And when the Cardinals trounce the rams this monday night you're gonna be hearing from me you're gonna be hearing from me uh, I'm, I'm waiting for that text bro take it easy it's, it's gonna happen later john thank you man see ya fuck that guy doesn't know shit about football huh? that guy <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to say it to i face, know but when i was a three-time letterman at casa Roble, yeah. if you would have stuck a microphone in front of my face in my bedroom mm -hmm. i would have put out a better podcast than him my <laughs> sophomore year now that we got that football pretender off the line, yeah, dude. let's turn our attention to Swolby One Kenobi just, in the building. He's a star, dude. Yeah. Let's be honest. He's wearing a bucket hat. What's up, my N words? He's wearing a bucket hat. Swolby. Swolby, why do you do that? God damn it. You've changed a lot yeah. since you started getting pussy. Yeah, look at him. Look I'm at him. Changed, you look like LL Cool J, I'm the dude. Same guy. I can't hear him in my headphones, Austin. Yeah. As, as long as his audio is recording, we should be good. You're the same guy. Yeah. Swolby. It's true, you used to roll in here with open alcoholic containers, so that mm -hmm. much hasn't changed. But the matching sweatsuit, the hat, the shades inside, what is this? You think you're cool. You used to come in here in a singlet. You were, you were, you were humble. You gave us one of your medals. What's yeah. going on? It's off-season, baby. Still can't hear him, Osti. It's off-season. It's off-season. New year, old dick. I think, you know what I think's happening, Leo? I think he's giving up on lifting mm -hmm. and he's focusing all of his time and energy into getting late more often. Danny, I haven't seen one guy that you've given, you know, a video. Let's say you give him a little fame, these yeah. guys, right? <laughs> There's yeah. not been one guy who's handled it well. No. So why would Swole be, be any different? Rat I've been Dick, outsourcing. Rat Dick Ralph and eh. lost his mind. Fan Jerry and eh. mm. in Lenigi <laughs> for a time <laughs> punches Bad. me in the face. Yeah. Eh. Mm -hmm. Swole be one Kenobi now. As you said, dressing like LL Cool J. Yeah. So we'll be, we're fumbling with the mics right now. Check. What do you have planned? Can you, can you guys hear me? Use the other one. Use the other one. Yeah. We're, we're fumbling. To yeah, get into it. Get close yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. There it is. There it is. All right, cool. So we'll be, how has the reception been now that everybody on the internet knows you had sex with that blonde woman? They questioned me like, how was the pussy, bro? How was it? Was it good? How was she? Uh -huh. uh, how did it happen? Mm -hmm. uh, Before you continue, uh, please send her a text message and ask her if she will like to receive a phone call within the next hour or so, you know, because we'd love to call her. I, uh, I agree with that. Yeah. Let's call her. She doesn't have to, you know, give her handle or any of that, you know, so you fuckers don't I hit her I sent her a message earlier. Good, good, good. We'll text her again and be like, hey, we'd love to talk to you on the pod and... Um, and have a good conversation. But about there has been like negative shit about the 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 video. What do you mean? Like about the chick? It'd what? be like, oh, how did a short guy like you pull a baddie like that? Well, why well, didn't you tell him? I tell him. What'd I'm you a, tell him? I'm a fucking pimp. That's right, dude. That seems like a fair answer to me. <laughs> You're an asshole, all right? Because I remember in the video, 
you well i did something bad too so i mean i apologize for outing you about your fig habit but that is something going that you, to figueroa to get prostitutes yeah I, you, you that's something you have to tell someone that is dating someone new right it's just yeah. it's like your duty leo in many ways what you did is you yanked the band-aid off right all right you amputated the gangrenous leg mm-hmm. it was <laughs> something that hurt but it was necessary yeah if this relationship is going to blossom mm. you need to be truthful yeah yeah, he revealed the herpy, he, the metaphorical herpy. Well, sure. yeah, it's not. Yeah, you don't have. The I don't have herpes. Virus. All right? I don't have no. Sh- all right? I'm clean. But if you did, it would have to get out at some point. And Leo essentially mm. did that service. So people have been telling yeah. you, "Hey, you're short. How come you banged this chick? How did you do it?" And that upsets you. No. Then what's negative? What's been the stuff that's, that's been pissing that, that's, you off? Well, that I would consider that comment like negative. Mm-hmm. As, uh, the opposite side would be like saying, "Yeah, good job, dude. That's that's fucking cool that you guys." You Did they say that? Yes. You've been getting props. Fuck I've been yeah, getting dude. props. You should maybe you should you know what you should do is you should definitely uh <laughs> you should make a post and say Adam twenty two how do you like them apples mm. you know what I mean because <laughs> he said some things about you you know but Adam twenty two said yeah. something about Swolby's penis which Swolby I went to bat for you I refuted right. those claims on Thank the spot you. did we you hear that did, yeah. I heard it on the live I was I was at work and I was like hell yeah I said Swolby when he's hard as an average sized cock <laughs> nice, I said he's got yeah. an average cock yeah. just like me average that's cock that's better than almost that's probably better than most people yeah because fifty percent at least at least over half I know? got Swolby's cock Swolby your cock doesn't look great limp but neither does mine. But when we get hard, we do business. We do serious business. We're showers. Swolby, I don't know if you've considered this whole Pete Davidson effect, as I like to call it, where Pete Davidson slings a little bit of dick Selena Gomez's way, and the next thing you know, he's plowing Kim Kardashian. It was uh, Adriana, uh, no, no, Ariana, what's her, Grande? Ariana Grande that he slipped the dick to. Is there Danny. any difference? Is Selena there, Gomez. Is there any difference? Yes, they look completely different. Kim They're both that. Latinas, yes. and they both sing. Yes. End of story. Oh, okay, well then, maybe he was dating fucking Talia of the, uh, from Mexico. You know Talia? Yeah, well, whatever it was, sure. Yeah, she's yeah. super old. That, that there is a difference between no, these there's, Latinas. No, there's, there's no Danny. difference. If you my can't just say if that. my girlfriend got banged by Kobe Bryant or Kevin Garnett, mm. it would make no difference to me. <laughs> Kevin which Garnett one it was. <laughs> Kevin Garnett is seven feet tall and he's so African. He has to have a fucking twelve inch penis. And, and Kobe probably had a solid penis. It, we all know what he did to the girl in Colorado. He did some stuff, but. I I would be more of like I would be more like shocked and yeah. uh, a little distraught if my if my girl had sex with Kevin Garnett dude yeah. that is an African giant especially now because I mean all she could do is like rub the urn against her pussy <laughs> actually that's a joke they weren't able to recover his ashes Swolby yeah that's fucked up so have you thought about getting some sort of David Sony and campaign going where you use this victory to procure other higher level females. Mm-hmm. Right now is the best time to strike. Oh, dude, you you probably have about a week, I would say. Put right a pussy now. flare out? Yeah, right yes. now. Like right now, every girl is like, whoa, dude, like that hot girl wanted a mate with that guy. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I should mate with him. Absolutely. That's happening all over the nation right now. All, I'm all yes. over the fucking nation. All over the world. We all over the world. Yeah, huge, I forgot. We have a huge audience in the UK, UK and Canada, Canada, and also in Scandinavia. Yeah. So I got to capitalize, capitalize. Dude, I would, if I were you, I would literally, whatever money you have in the bank, spend it on a trip to the Liquidate UK. Liquidate my asses. No, right go now. to the UK. Leo, no check. more fit paying for pussies, will be. That's, yeah, that's no more. Simpy, exactly. exactly. Check this, Leo. I got an idea. Mm-hmm. He clips from my video all the scenes involving him having sex with that lovely blonde girl. Right. <laughs> How much money are you worth right now, Swolby? I'm honestly l- right now like thirty k. It's not bad. I don't believe you. I don't even sort of believe you. And, I'm not, and I'm not going to humor that. In a year, in, in a year, year. he's going to right So right now you're at zero. <laughs> but in a year, I'm at three. I have three grand in the bank right Did now. Did you just ten <laughs> x your net worth? He's like, I put it in algo, man. It's gonna it's Coinbase. Hey, it's just I'm gonna, it's gonna this blow with up. The bitches, all right? Listen, dude, the bitches aren't listening to this yet. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, what yeah, bitch yeah. is gonna be like thirty k? Oh my god! <laughs> Probably a lot, Leo. Yeah, you're right. I'm but I'm an idiot, dude. A, sma- you're right. a smaller number than the girls who are gonna be impressed by <laughs> the hot chicky fuck. Yeah, some chick in Thailand is like, oh my god, thirty k. That's the best. I was looking at Bangkok yeah, videos. You should go to Bangkok, yeah, bro. You're fucking Ray Dalio if you go to Bangkok with three grand. <laughs> Listen to me, Swolby. You're gonna take this three grand. Mm. Yeah. You're gonna put it into a Facebook ad campaign. I agree. You're gonna target. 
girls 18 through 19 mm-hmm. really in the only western United States. He likes he goes up to like 50. You'd you'd bang a 50 year old. Leo, no? who's planning this yeah. campaign? Okay, 18, 19 year olds. Go ahead. I know you can get down with that age. Oh, bracket. yeah. I, that's what I would do. What but about 18 to 45? You know what? How about this? 18 to 18. I like that. If Only they're not 18, 18 they don't see the ad. Nope. You run that ad everywhere. You have a landing page, swolbyfucks.com, uh. and you track the IP addresses that move off of Facebook to swolbyfucks.com. Now, swolbyfucks.com. <laughs> swolbyfucks.com, yeah. All it has is your Instagram link. What about a, a, If they like you, they click the Instagram link, <laughs> and you make your bio on Instagram, hey, hoes, DM me, uh, and that, that dick. sends them yeah. further down the funnel into your direct messages. Mm-hmm. When you got them in the direct messages, they're yours for the effing. Yeah, you could. Uh, you, the website has to be pretty simple. You just have the, the, basically your Instagram and then a calendar of days when you're fucking. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, hey, dude, like Monday through Wednesday this week, completely Available. booked already. Yeah, yeah. So, they can click on the day they want and they can schedule right. to have sex with you through your website. Right. It's, it's genius. He's like yeah. a like a like a a pussy dentist. Right. Yeah. You got to make yeah. your fucking planner. He's yes. Like, you're like a pussy. So dentist. I think you better get on this though. So what, oh, you got a checklist. So you got you need a website. Yeah, as soon as possible, uh, yeah. I would about, get on it with headshots. Not yet. No, let's not talk about that. You have your your you have your Instagram so far. It's okay. And, okay. and Swolby, the only headshot that matters is a headshot of that chick you banged. Yeah, oh, okay. you really just should post the girl and you, Everywhere. but only mostly her in the picture. You know what I mean? Like when you post a girl with in a picture on Instagram, it should be like ninety percent the girl, and you're just kind of popping your head out the like, hey, this is my girl. So you post her up. I say, I say you just say you're official with her. And then, in fact, you should probably do that right now. You should literally post a picture and be like, hey, guys, meet my girl. Yeah. Change I think we should Facebook do that on Instagram. Status. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think so. I think we're going to do that. So. Swolby, are you willing to change your relationship status <laughs> in your Instagram bio right now? Yeah. Yeah, let's do, do it. it. Let's let's do give, it. give me your phone. I'll do everything. So, so it's going to be, it's gonna it be in a relationship with at that girl's name. Yeah. And she's yeah. going to see that tag. She's going to uh, be yeah. a trifle surprised. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't matter, Leo. Yeah. Because we have bigger things on our mind. Of course. Leo, I'm going to tell you what that bigger thing is. And, What's up? and I, I also want to thank you because mm-hmm. you and I, are, we're, we're throwing out some good ideas here. Mm-hmm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go It'll to Inland Iggy in the Inland Empire. Oh, this is great. The reason we're going out there physically instead of getting him to send what we want is because this is too sensitive of information mm-hmm. to not handle in a hands-on fashion. Of course. We're going to go out there with an escort to Inlanigi's plot in the Inland Empire. He's mm-hmm. living in a mobile home now. We're going to get the file that shows Swolby oh, actually fucking this girl. Yes. XXX style. I've seen it. Really? It is as if somebody is shining a flashlight up Swolby's asshole from behind <laughs> while he's slamming no. into her carcass. No Pretty gnarly. Way. No it's, way. It's gnarly. How'd her pussy look? It, uh, it, everything looks great. Nice. Except for Swolby's asshole. Gotcha. A little hairy. That looks fine, but it's a man's ass. To the yeah. female, that ain't my thing. To the female eye, the ass is nice. Swolby, listen to me. Yeah. We've got that XXX tape. Uh-huh. Shooter, you follow along with me too here. We got Shooter here. We got Mr. On Sight. Yeah, Mr. On Sight, baby. I, I got, I've got to be very careful what I say in case Shooter decides he doesn't like me and wants to fight me on sight. Swolby, we're going to get that XXX footage. Yeah. And you're going to... You're going to post a clip of it on your Instagram for 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, he's got it. I, I think that's a good idea. You'll probably get banned, but the amount of pussy that will come no. your way will... Pfft. This is what I, what I have so far, Danny. Whatever you want to add, put in put in whatever you want to add. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leo, it says this. Currently in a relationship with Sienna from Danny Mullen's video. I'm five foot one inches. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Well, wait, you're five three, right? Jesus. You're five three. I... What? I'm sorry. I figured I figured it would just be a flex. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I got this baddie, and I'm five one. Like, now what? What do you got? What you got? It's kind of like putting your like trauma out there. You know what I mean? Those people that are always like, you gotta just the the only way to get better is really just telling everybody man, everything. Why about you gotta yourself. take two inches off my height, man? I'm sorry, I, I did be- that dude. because God what, he, what, he, what he's what he's doing right now is he he's helping you make a point. Yes, that <clears throat> you could be. Three numbers down on the one through ten scale mm-hmm. and still slay pussy. I, I get it. But Le- so, DiCaprio, so like I could do right. this. Like it, it's it's self deprecating humor. It'd be like if I went out to a bar. I'm like, ah, you don't want me, Brittany. I got a one inch cock. I live with my mom. Pete I'm a loser. Style. My breath stinks. Mm-hmm. You get it. You all just right, you play right. it lower than you actually are. And then when the girl finds the real you, 
when she sees you standing against the 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 inner inner door height measure of the whole family at her house one day, and she sees you're actually five three, she'll want to blow you that much more. Let's go. You know what I mean? Remember that? Does it's, everybody it's, have those? The family door measures? Of course. The height? Yeah, of course. You know into the door, about. into the, yeah, into the frame of the door. Yeah. Yeah. We should have that for Swolby and everybody in the crew, honestly. Yeah. He'll be walking through the door and she'll realize that he's just an inch below her 12 year old brother. Yeah. Austin. That's mean. God damn. So here's dude. what I'm going to do for you, Swolby. <laughs> Good sorry, old no Swolby. pussy, dude. Oh. <laughs> Coming with the zingers. Swolby bites back. Swolby beat you out, Austin. <laughs> Never forget it. Swolby, because you just zinged Austin, I'm going to delete the I'm 5-1. Sure, sure. I don't think it's relevant. Okay. It's We're going to go with currently in a relationship with Sienna from Danny Mullen's video. The only amendment I'm going to make is we need to at her real Instagram handle mm-hmm. for the profile. So, Swolby, you're going to do that now. All right. Swolby. Wait, wait. Let me, th- let me change one more thing. Yeah, let me change. Yeah, yeah. So throw me the phone. I forgot our whole strategy. I forgot our ad campaign. Yeah, yeah our ad campaign. Come on. Um, Am I really dropping 3K on this ad? Yeah. Yeah, all, dude. All 3K. And you whatever know, you have in the bank. Yeah. If it's more than 3K, I say more. Right, Danny? I mean, whatever you have. Yeah, liquidate your assets. Yeah, yeah. And also, if you can take out a loan, that's something to consider, too. Yeah, I would say if you're in good standing with your bank and your credit score is decent, you know, you have a, you're currently employed by Amazon, right? Yeah. Yeah, I say, yeah, get a little 10K loan. Go to Western Union and just... You could do that take too, yeah. Out. Yeah, take some money out, like get some money somehow because you're gonna need it. All right. Start a GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah, GoFundMe. Yeah, start a GoFundMe for the ad for the ads for the pussy getting for the ads for the ads for the pussy getting. Yeah, uh, it looks like you're adding a lot over there. Yeah, Danny. yeah, it's good. Going to town, but um, okay, one second. It's not. It's nothing about what he did physically to the girl and stuff and the irresponsibility of it or anything like that either, is it? I mean, that was pretty irresponsible of you. Or have you learned your lesson that you can't just, like, come in some stranger's vagina? <laughs> I mean, I, it, it is what it is, man. Mm-hmm. Is, did Sienna respond? And uh, we don't know yet, I guess. Um, we need you to call her, and I think that you should start the phone call off with some honesty and tell her about your last experience at, at Figueroa. That's what you should do. <laughs> Okay. I want to stay and play, Leo. I don't oh, want well, to. it doesn't matter. Oh. The more, listen, if a girl loves you for who you are, she'll never leave. You know what I mean? Leo, you're a douche, and I, and I want to. I'm not going to, I'm not going to reveal something I was going to reveal. Oh, but God. I'm not, can we reveal that? What? Uh, your plans in with, Vegas? With, oh, yeah, no, it's not. Well, yeah, we can, but just don't say names. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to say that. It's going to be hard to not reveal the names. Mm. So I've got this. Currently in a relationship with Sienna from Danny Mullen's videos. Oh. But fear not, girls. These DMs be wide the fuck open. <laughs> no condom squad. Smiley face. <laughs> no, winky face. Winky face. Winky face. Yeah, I like winky so face. So there we go. And can I we pass love this it, dude. Take I love it. Of that. I love it. I love Keep it. it. These DMs be wide the fuck open. Yeah, and then you can put her Instagram handle, right? Yeah, I got you. Is she okay with that? Well, let's get her on the phone. We got to ask her some questions. I think she'll be Leo. If well, just put that for now, and then we'll add her. Le- her uh, Leo, okay, mm-hmm. we put that for now because yeah, if yeah. she was okay, Hit done. Don't you fucking no, dare delete it. But dude. also, you got to tag her actual profile, Leo, because yeah. if she was okay with being on video taking a Plan B pill after he cream pied her, she should be okay with being tagged in a bio. I think so. Right. I think so. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Great yeah, point. Yeah. yeah. Great point. Yeah. Yeah, you're in a relationship now, Swolby. I mean, what's the deal? You can Swolby, listen. <laughs> now that you're a taken man, I think that you need to, you know, you need to work on some things too. Okay, so honesty is one of them. Like I said again, so make sure that Sienna uh, understands that you're going to call her in the next hour. Though, tell her it's important. She's your girlfriend now. Yeah, I was going to tell her eventually. Hit her up, right, dude. What is she doing? What is she doing? Okay, at, currently in a relationship with at, and then her yeah, yeah, profile. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do, do you know the profile? Of course he does. You He's memorized masturbated it? to it endlessly. Uh, I forgot, dude. Is no. he the hottest girl you've ever been with? No. Hey, don't say that bullshit about your girlfriend. The fuck yeah. is wrong with you? <laughs> First test that you failed. <laughs> yes, dude. What the fuck? Did you try to catch him later? <laughs> try to catch him later. That's yeah, that's girlfriend. your girlfriend, dude. She's the hottest. Hey, hey, uh, Danny, is Mia the hottest girl you've ever been with? Yeah. Yeah. See. See. Ask me again. Ask me again. Swolby, is Sienna the hottest girl you've ever been with? Absolutely hottest girl ever. She is though. In Stop the world. It. She is because you said oh, that Earth. you said the prostitute in fucking Nevada was the hottest at some point. And I think she's hotter than her. Absolutely no. not. Sienna. She's not a hooker, too. She's Stop not a hooker. Her. So Hana, dude, dude yeah. Sienna, 
knocks her off. That's the fucking dude. Code. I told you as soon as you saw her that you needed to, to date her for life. He also fucked an incredibly muscular porn star recently. Yes. Yeah. Swole yeah. me. Do I do anything other than get you laid? I'm forgetting this. The hooker, the porn star, and Sienna. I do nothing but get your yeah. dick wet, dude. And, and you know, she's Swole the hottest. Me. She's the hottest. Hands down. Swole me, you're just a character, though, and we appreciate you, too, all right? So thank you for, for being you. You're you. You're always you. You are you. And he needs some more followers. Swole man. Follow we're we're going to blast you out on Instagram tonight, Swole Yeah, we Let's are. Go. Don't you fucking worry. You're a good man. Swole what else do we want to cover? We're going to try to get in touch with Sienna, but did mm-hmm. you do what you were supposed to do with your Instagram bio? Let me check yeah, it. I, I added Let it. me give it. Let me see it. Let me see it. I'm going to look at it really quickly as well. And then I'm going to tell a story I think we too. need to fire it up. I think we need to put it on our stories, Danny. I think we really need to We're not going to do that live right now, but we will. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'm, I'm pulling up Swolby One Kenobi. I got to search out that. Uh, I hell yeah, dude. Feel, everyone's going to fuck with her. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Really this hard. is... Well, this is great. We'll see. No, condoms <laughs> <don't lie. laughs> it's pretty great. offensive. It's pretty damn offensive. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, it's per- like the no condom squad just mm-hmm. makes it sound like he's bragging about raw dogging her. Yeah. Which I, is, it but Danny, I think I think we look I love what we've done so far. This is like it's it's like it's not completely done. It's a Picasso without uh, I don't know color or something. I think we need a screenshot of them together from the video and then a post and then a post <laughs> that we write. I would I would be willing to to write a part of it. You can write the other part, whatever you want. Okay, well, let's maybe get her on the horn first. Yeah, let's get her on the horn and make sure that's okay, because you're going to ask her if it's okay if you post, if you do a post. Okay, I want to speak to Shooter very quickly. Shooter, you you might remember, I I still can't hear that mic. Into the front, into the front. Shooter, you might remember last time. Shooter told us a tale of him being on Zoom. Right. And on the other end of the Zoom call, a fellow named, what was his name? We said his name, yeah, Kelly. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly. A guy named Kelly flashed his penis without warning. Right. Shooter took this very, very personally and told Kelly that if he ever sees him, it was going to be on, on sight. sight. Which, what does that mean, Shooter? It means when I see you, you basically get punched in the face. Yeah, we thought it was a, a homophobic thing to do. And reeked of a man who'd never been in a locker room before. Mm. Because, Leo, if somebody, one of your buddies, flashed you their cock... It's nothing, dude. You would chuck I might, I might buy him dinner, dude. It's not a big deal. It's a great I mean? way to get some free Olive Garden, is to show Leo your penis. A few fans out there, if you guys show me your penis, next thing we're doing, getting breadsticks and unlimited salad. Is there old a, Olive Garden. How many times is that offer good for? Like, if I just flash mm. you my cock every day? Well, you don't count, but because I've seen your cock so many times. But first time cocks, Olive Garden. Boom. A shooter, are you hungry? No. Are you sure? I'll be the opposite. There's a pasta place right around the corner. No, no. I'll say the first one you get punched, and then if I see it again, I'll probably be like, fuck it, whatever. So, Kelly, was there any verbal kind of cue that he was going to do this? I'm going to show you my dick. Was anything like that? Like, Kelly was kind of no. ghetto, right? He was a drug dealer? Uh, yeah, he was for sure ghetto. So That's was, weird. Ghetto guys don't like whip out the dicks, you know? We've encountered only homophobia amongst the ghetto people, correct? He wasn't. Uh, but he wasn't. He wasn't. Oh, my God. It's fine. Oh, my God. If he does it, though, like, it's, it's just different. You know, I think, Danny, I think we might have to test. I think you should is more Kato it. Kato it. When he doesn't expect it, you fucking what, whip what that are little you? thing out. You're a purple out. belt, right, Danny? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking black belt and having a fat cock, though. Yeah, no, I just, <laughs> you better watch your PCQ. I think it would be, yeah, be interesting. You ever choke somebody out with your little wee-wee out, yeah, Danny? Absolutely. It's called a salami choke, Leo, and it's something I've no. patented in my time. No. I- Iggy salami choked you one time on the box. The old salami choke. The old salami yeah. choke? Absolutely. You get a high back mount, you unfasten your gi pants, and you stretch your little gummy worm out. My God. Yeah, you cut off the flow to the carotid arteries. Holy shit. Leo, you know how many times I've sausage choked people at the highest level of competition? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How, how, how many tournaments have you won based on the sausage uh, choke? How about the Nationals, the American Nationals 2009? Holy fucking it, shit. It was right after I got my fourth letterman. Wow. What was the fourth letterman for? You said three earlier. You got another one for same sport football. Yeah, I was a fifth year in high school. Uh, okay, oh, that makes sense. Super Thank senior, you. as they call Super it. Super senior, that's nice. Coach wanted me back. Of course, of the course. sausage choke though. Mm-hmm. Shooter, how has your anger been though recently? Because what you told us about the on-site thing to me that indicates anger problems, and I'm curious if anything has got your blood boiling since the last time we saw you. 
Yeah. All right. So there, there is something. The last thing I would say, we actually have a friend. Uh, we call him Cosby. Uh, That's not a great puts, name. Uh, <laughs> is it? Does it have anything to do with his habits at bars and I drinks? Honestly didn't give pills. Him I don't even know where the name came from. So. We get black, and I've known him longer than anybody else. Is he black is or not? Here. He could pass as black. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, so but he's he, mixed. He, yeah, he he's not mixed. He's actually Hispanic. Okay, but he's like really dark. Mm-hmm. Like he looks like he was picking oranges or avocados in the field. Oh, okay. That's dark. That's right. that's like a rude thing to say about your country, man. Fine, but it's okay. okay. I could say it. So, you can't say it. You can't say it. So, they uh, they taught me a lot of uh, the, the fruit pickers. I don't know if that's what they're called. I would say the the tenders of the farms out there. They wear long sleeves in the, in the summer, and that is a good thing to do. See, it, it cools you down after it, you're hot for like the first 10, 15 minutes. All of a sudden, it's a natural cooling system. It's really interesting. Continue. No, no, you're you're right. I mm. one of my first jobs was I used to do roofing, and oh, yeah, I went there with a t shirt and some shorts, and it was like, like the nah. worst decision I've ever made. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, everybody got to go like long bundled sleep. up in mm-hmm. jackets, and it protects you. Yeah, it protects. Well, you, okay, right. back to Cosby. So I'm not gonna make it a big thing, mm-hmm. but what ended up happening was, um, you know, everybody has that friend that flakes or says that I'm coming, but yeah, never yeah, shows yeah. up. That's yeah. just he, that person exists. So he's done this to us, like there's a group of us, um, a million times. Fuck. Right. We don't care. We live our lives. We do what we do. We're men. Mm-hmm. We can handle it. Mm-hmm. We did it one time to him, and he threw like a bitch fit about it. Really? He like he blocked us on Instagram. He was talking shit about us. He yeah. did like all this extra shit. What was the event that Cosby invited you to? It was his sister's graduation. How right? old is his sister? Um, how old is M now? She's like twenty six. So at the time, she was twenty five when this happened. What was she graduating from? She graduated from USC, I think. Yeah. Really? She USC? got her master's. Okay. Mr. On site. What is the chance what are the chances that you'd just call him up right now and say you're gonna bang his sister? No, no. No. Listen. Would that be too much? Listen. I've yeah. known I know, like the weird thing is that we should have that relationship. I've mm-hmm. known him since I was like ten, maybe. Yeah. I've known him forever. Uh-huh. I've lived with the guy, like we've done uh-huh. a lot. So that's what bothered me that something's so little. Yeah. Cause okay, what happened was I was gonna take photos for the event uh-huh. and he was actually gonna DJ. Oh, but we've talked about this once and it was like maybe a month back mm-hmm. and then uh we forgot. We completely forgot about it, Even to be you honest. Gave him a heads up, like, yeah, and once I was reminded, I called him, called him, called him, try to make up for it. Like, yo, I'll come right mm-hmm. away because, you know, that's the type and of And he's upset. Iron. He's too upset. And he was ignoring my calls. He was pissed, blah, blah. And he did the same thing to him. Really? So you both couldn't give him a call right now? Because, listen, we've got to hash this out. Listen, this guy. This guy gets upset with you because his sister had a little ditty, <laughs> yeah. a little, she graduated a little with, late with too, her let master's me tell you. In, in pottery, right. or fuck knows what, and also, the guy drops pills into women's drinks. Yeah. You don't remember so. how he got that nickname? <laughs> I do. All yeah, right? yeah. I know this Cosby fellow. How did yeah. he get that nickname? I want to know. He started calling himself that on Twitter. Cosby? Cosby? Yeah. Oh, okay. It isn't because he's funny and he goes to Temple University. It's Look, because he's a rapist, all right? <laughs> he's a cool dude. I just, I don't know what happened, honestly. And, and you know what makes it weirder? That I actually messaged his sister and like I told her like I apologize mm-hmm. or like I reached out to her because it's her party. Right. And she was cool with it. She didn't block me. She was like, you know. It's all good. It was all good. It wasn't a big deal. But my close, close friend, one of my Cosby. best friends that I've known for years, the sexual pervert. fucking disowned me. Mm. So then... I was just like, fuck it, whatever, it is what it is. Look, Danny, you do a great impression of Swolby. I think that you get on the phone, you hash this out with the guy. Yeah, let me talk to him. Let him Knowing let him, he'd probably hang up on you, to be honest. Well, it doesn't matter. Watch this. Give me a it's sw- a silver tongue mullen you're yeah. talking about. What's your mouth? Yeah. Or he wouldn't answer, yeah. No, no. He's not going to answer Swolby's call? We're going to call him up right now. Well, probably, just call him on you your be, phone, like right here. You better answers. do a good job. because oh, I'm going to be doing he, a really good job. He watches the pod, so he'll know your voice. Sh- what? Cosby watches our- yeah. Dude, yeah. I didn't know we had, I know we had some Scandinavians and some Europeans. I didn't know we had any rapists yeah, he watches in our pod. demographic. There's rapists So in if you can get away with it, I'll be impressed. Okay, yeah, yeah let's call him up. Let's call, call him up. Call him up. Also, Cosby. You're going to see this after you get this call. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Yeah, thank you. Maybe lighten up about your sister's little celebrations, though, okay? Mm-hmm. Not everybody's going to I still love you, bro, but you know what happened. Is it, would it be it wrong it if, is. like, I like maybe Austin slid into his sister's DMs? Would that be wrong of us? <laughs> yeah, we'll just call him and see if he answers. Uh, she likes black dude. But I mean, Austin passes us. You know that he that, raps like one. Yeah, that mic doesn't work, Swilby. Cool. That mic doesn't work, Swilby. Do you know that? So so mic doesn't work. You're gonna you have to talk into that one, dude. That's the one I've had this my whole life. So 
All right. No, no, just call him from there, dude. Just call him. And then and toss if he answers, the phone. Yeah, and then if he answers, he answers. We're not going to put it like on speaker. I'm just going to put it up to my ear. If he answers, I'm going to give it to, M- to Mullen. So give me this. Dial. Oh, we got it. Okay, let's pray, guys. Want me to take it? Yeah. It's ringing. Two rings. This is a motherfucker better answer. If not, I guess a message will do. A scathing message, I guess, would do if he doesn't answer. He it. rarely answers, so that's why we said. Fucking motherfucker. Why don't you text him and say, I got this. Yeah. What's up, my N-word? This is Swoby. I understand you were pissed at me and Shooter for not coming to your sister shindig the other week when she graduated from USC. You know what they call the University of Southern California? The university is sucking cock. Because that's when your sister was really getting a master's in. All right? She was getting a master's in that the night before the party. <laughs> I had my salami down that hose windpipe. And she was sucking good. And she sucked till I came. And then I split the joint. And the idea that you think my ass is going to be up at her party, swinging at the pinata, hitting the turntables is ludicrous. You know why? Because I'd already hit that throat, bitch. <laughs> And I didn't want to see that hoe ever again. So don't come at me and don't come at Shooter with your boo-hoo-hoo bullshit. Yeah. You're lucky I was ever friends with you. Fuck off <laughs> and tell your sister, come suck it again anytime, hoe. <laughs> you know, don't hang up. Ah, oh, dude, I was going to be Shooter and call him back. I dude. honestly, <laughs> all I'm thinking about is if he's going to call Swoby back or if he's going to call me. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to hear that? He'll know he was on the pod or what? He might, but I've never really seen him like angry or violent ever like my whole life. Now he's like very into fitness and he's like apparently boxing and he works at like a rock climbing gym. Oh so my God. He's trying to do like the whole enlightenment like, okay, really? kind of thing, that's, which, which, well, is, that, which that, is good. That but, message will really fucking rock his that, day. Yeah, though. what if he goes back to dealing <laughs> drugs and wearing do-rags after he hears that? He, no, he's actually a bright guy. That's why I'm surprised that he would act oh, the way he did. He's like a fuck. really smart dude, so. Yeah, it's don't worry about that guy. And Swolby, you better be worried because with that impression, I could steal your identity. You, Hey, Swolby, do you think Cosby would ever say some shit to you? Like, come up to you and say fuck you or something? Like, would he call you back right now and like talk shit to you? Do you think that that's possible? Nah, if you would know immediately, like that, that was me. Like the first, the beginning, it sounded like. What are you like talking me. about, dude? The beginning sounded that was, like. Dude, me. if I closed my eyes right there, I'd be like, "Damn, dude, Swolby's in the building." Damn, dude. Now you know what? Swolby's in Danny's chair. Right, What's yeah, going on? Yeah. I could call Wells Fargo right now and drain every cent of that three grand, sucker. Damn. Yeah, dude. Like, Our voice recognition has confirmed that this is. Melvin Swolby One Kenobi d- 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 Melvin oh. Oh. oh shit Nobody God knows that damn it No one knows that I, I went with Trujillo For a second Trujillo It's, it's Trujillo But look Nobody can know your full name Swolby Is that a real thing No Really Is it an Inlanagi type mystery Well I mean You guys can know But damn These guys are fucking crazy It's true We're all out can there Can you cut that out Austin we're cutting Cut out, out Swolby's last name. Swolby's last name. So I do have a question. What's up? So the, the video you guys just put up, I loved it, yeah. by the way. Thank you. Shooter. So what? There's a lot of dick in that video. There is. Is it, is it on site with Fan Josh? There's a lot going he on. He pulled in that it out video. by the Christmas tree. Josh is wild. wild. We should call him, too. So what happened? Like, the fight? What happened? Like, what really happened? I wasn't there, so I can't really. So I saw this dude, like, Apparently, it looked like he snuck around. Yeah, came behind and threw the first punch. Is that what happened? Yes, yes. That's what's. Ha- that's a good question to ask because there was some fight footage that we couldn't release because it was what you saw. What the audience saw was Nico getting sucker punched and then Nico going for one of the guy's friends. Mm. Well, what happened after is a bunch of other dudes in the crew started squaring off against people in their crew. And it was all blacked out. And my memory of the situation was non-existent. But looking at the video, there's a lot of people doing a lot of stuff to each other on both sides. And I just thought, you know what? This is fucking messy. I'm not going to release this in case these fucking scum suckers who cold cocked Nico yeah. are looking to file like a bogus lawsuit. 100%. Yeah, you didn't even mention that chick stole your phone. So who was some chick shit? stole his phone too? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know how it started. I, um, I, yeah. can, I can generally yeah. sum up how it started. So Mia... 
and I and the groupie chick, actually, Sienna, we rolled into the bar and Mia, when she's drunk, is super loud, not afraid to talk to anybody, to talk shit to anybody. Mia is jokingly hitting on like a 45 year old Mexican dude. And the chicks that he's with, the Mexican dude, are dumb enough to think that it's like a serious come on attempt mm-hmm. when clearly Mia is just fucking around. So they're talking, hey, girl, don't you be too looking at my man. I'll, I'll, I'll pull that, that wig right off. I don't know. That's no. like, that's like, <laughs> like black girl saying in the hood. Uh-uh. I'll come over there. I'll smack those Chinese eyes. Oval shaped cunt. Damn. They dude. were saying racial stuff. Really? Yeah. They said they were going to smack her Chinese eyes into ovals. Whoa. Yeah. Were they like older OG, like Hispanic women? They were. Yeah. They were, they were pretty ghetto. It's, it sounds like it. They were, I'm sure they were lovely people in real life, but they're in Vegas. They flew out from God knows where and they're getting really liquored up. That situation went unresolved for maybe 45 minutes. Me, Donnie, Inlanegi, the fangirl, and Mia are all just getting hammered at the bar for 45 more minutes. So, yeah, you're saying 45 minutes to escalate to the fight. Yes, and there's no contact in between, but there was no resolution either. No olive branches had been extended. I'm not sure what the exact moment of ignition was. Like, I can't tell you I do. the dialogue line for that line. tequila shot. I, that last tequila shot. I remember. I was there. Uh, the, the line that set them off was when Nico said, shut up, you fat bitch. Oh, uh, then, yeah, I know that. But something happened before that to get Nico to the point where he was screaming shit like that. Oh, they were, yeah, they were talking shit. No, there was they something something escalated. What happened was... I asked Nico to film because Nico had brought out my little spy camera, my smaller Sony to film that night. I told Nico, hey man, do you mind pulling that camera out and filming? And he's like, I don't have it, which is untrue. He had it in his pocket. It was, yeah. just a, it was a blacked out Nixie moment. Yeah, of course. So I was like, whatever, take my phone. And he holds up the phone. Everybody was talking shit. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know why. I got up. I heard, I heard girls talking real aggressive towards Mia and Nico. I wanted to check the shit that was going on. Yeah. I was talking to this couple from Alaska and I got up and I was like, what the fuck? And I was trying to like mediate and like make sure no one gets into some shit. But, you know, there's they're getting real like mouthy to yeah. us. And I'm like. The the, uh, the the ladies that were all pissed off, they started talking shit to, to Mia and to Siana. Yeah, and Sienna just was like not having it, bro. She it was, was so out. funny. She was like, she was "No, fuck mode. you, bitch." Yeah, was so funny. I back Sienna. I, I think uh-huh. I think that was the moment I fell in love. Yeah, Sienna was dope. I, you can see that in the video that Sienna's like getting after it, and Mia is just out to lunch. Mia's talking to some random like fucking Cambodian looking woman next to the bar who had nothing to do with anything. But yes, I think the Mexican women had 45 minutes to stew and get drunker. And then as they were leaving, they just went, fuck y'all hoes, you little skanks or something to that effect. Yeah. And that made Sienna come at them. And then it boiled over into a situation. I probably said something snotty just because I thought it was funny and I didn't think violence was going to happen. And and for all I was concerned, that was all that was going to happen. Nico was going to fill Film our party talking shit to their party. Then maybe we would hug it out, apologize, and go home. Yeah. That all changed when one of their dudes rounded the circle bar, found a back entrance, and biggest bitch move of all Rabbit time. Rabbit punched him. Rabbit punches Nico. And what happened before that is Nico's just filming, and th- th- this main chick who instigated the whole thing is the one in the black and white stripes. Uh-huh. And she reaches and tries to like rip the camera out of Nico's hands because he has his flash on. Mm-hmm. And that's what triggers Nico to go, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, you fat bitch. Yeah. And then she's going, get him. Get his ass. She's yelling at the other guys and yeah. like sicking them like dogs at Nico. And that's when the guy sneaks around back and sucker punches him in the head. Yeah. And one of the things that I loved was the guy that Nico went after his legs. And I think Nico might have like hurt that guy's legs. That was nice. I saw that. But that, was nice. that guy, when Nico was like, fuck you, you're a fat bitch. You're a fat fucking bitch, which I loved in the video. You can see I'm dying. That guy, the guy who got his legs attacked is going, your mama, your mama, <laughs> which that's where those guys are as far as insults. W- was it a big group? I only saw like a guy and two. Women. There were at least three or four dudes and probably the same amount of chicks with them. And did security break it up or did it? Security just broke disperse? it up. The, see, the, all the footage we have, Nico's camera, my phone, got swatted to the ground and then stolen. 
Austin's camera, they fucked with it a couple times. They were swatting it away. So all the footage is incomplete, but it was a full on fucking brawl. Before yeah, the security? Same, the same lady grabbed my phone out of my hand and threw it against the wall. And then that was when each person kind of like, they, they had multiple dudes in their squad. So everyone kind of picked up against a different guy. Like uh, Bryce, like tackled a dude. Jace. J Jace tackled a dude. And the guy, none of that got on footage, I'm pretty sure, because she had threw my shit to the floor. Before security came, uh, I, I got a knife pulled on me. What? By who? One of the guys. Of of the guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Jace tackled the guy. We restrained him and we warned him. Like we gave him a fair warning. If you try some shit, hey, it's not gonna end up pretty nice for you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't try no funny shit. Yeah. And uh, we let him go. He didn't do anything. But the next guy that I like squared up to, because he was like getting in Sienna's face and Mia's face. Your girl, dude. I got in front of them. Yeah, he hadn't even. Wait, her say yet. that again. Say say Sienna, my girl. Yeah. And then continue. My girl. Oh well, yeah. I got in front of my girl Sienna's. Right, right, right. And I, I had to mm -hmm. like. Make sure she was good. Yeah, of course. You got to be the protector. You got to make sure she was good. You're a knight in shining armor, I mean, baby. Yeah. In like 15 hours, she would have your semen in her belly. Honestly. Exactly. That's your fucking it's potential romantic. mother of your child. That was like an anime moment, dude. It yeah, was so like, wait, what kind of knife was it? Was it? it was a K-Bar standard issue. What do you mean, what kind of knife was it? I want to know. It, it looked like... <laughs> was it a Jason yeah. Bourne? Was it a switchblade from like the, the fucking no, sharks in no West Side Chinti Story? Knife. It was, was it like a butterfly? Was it a... What? A hunting knife. He's going hunting yeah, yeah, for yeah, small yeah. bees. We can't hear you, Shooter, when you talk like that. <laughs> he didn't want the smoke. The reason I ask what knife, yeah. because being Hispanic, right. me Mexicans generally carry some crazy knives. The butterfly knife? You ever like, seen those? They stuff? fucking carry the weirdest shit, bro. Like, mm. you don't even have it. But yeah. So, yeah, a hunter knife? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I fucking used to carry a butter knife, dude. Those are good. <laughs> All right. It's the job done. Yeah, mm -hmm. Leo. Precision. Leo had a toast phase. That did. That Big did. toast phase. Swolby, that's I, that's terrifying. And one of the things that's terrifying when I watch back the footage, I was blacked the fuck out. Yeah. And I am so belligerent in the middle of the fight that like there's no sense of urgency or danger in me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm focusing on yeah. one guy and like <laughs> I'm not protecting my head. And it's just crazy that there were dudes pulling knives, dudes sucker punching. Yeah. And I'm just walking through the fray like la di da di da. Like just smiling, having a good I, time. I I'm willing I I'm s i am think that it wouldn't have happened if I was there. I usually I de escalate those kind of things. Where were you that night, Leah? I was out on a date. Yeah, can you tell us who you were lady. on a date with? I was with? on a date go, with Leah? a sideline reporter for some team a out football there team or a baseball team who knows could be boxing who knows uh -huh. but i had a nice mm -hmm. romantic time it was great you got drained yes but leo, uh she leo had sex with a sideline reporter yeah. for a certain sports organization for a certain sports organization and leo tell us how the sex went well, i want to hear about the filthy stuff the filthy stuff yeah Oh, man. What happens right no, when you I, walk I, I'll be road? honest. It really wasn't felt filthy at all. It I, was... But nobody hears stories about you having sex. Every mm -hmm. story involving you mm -hmm. involves a fat chick behind a comedy club getting her cheeks filled up with your <laughs> DNA. <laughs> it's it's simple, dude. I, I mean, I think, uh, you know, random first time sex after a sweaty night out in Vegas. You know, it is what it is. I probably should have taken a shower, showered up a little bit or something. But, you know, you know we were just... In the in the moment, the so two, we the were both you, really drunk. The two of you crashed the, the door hammered. Yeah, You've been yeah. at a boxing event all night long. I've been was at a boxing, boxing event. event. Um, I saw a fight. Which with, fight? Where? It was at the MGM, and it was two welterweights. I do not remember the. I don't. Ah, uh, damn it. Devin Haney and some other guy. Frustrating with a long, underwhelming boxing bout. It was the two of you a, stumble out to the center bar of the MGM Grand. Yeah, we went and there. And begin going tequila shot for tequila shot with each she other. She drank a lot of tequila. She's yeah. drinking tequila by the shot. Mm -hmm. By shot number three or four, you're already cupping her boobs. By mm. shot four or five, you have a hand slipping down her waistline toward her vagina. <laughs> no, uh, just making out. Just making out. I uh, was being, you know, she's older than me. She's very smart. So I couldn't be like too, you know, dominant in this situation, to be honest, because she probably makes more money than I do. Um, she was kind of an alpha. She's been, you know, she's a single, very independent lady. So she was kind of an alpha, to be completely honest. Your right hand is two knuckles deep 
into her vagina, and your left hand is hailing a cab in front of the MGM. (laughs) (laughs) The next thing you know, you're back at her room at the Wynn, Mm -hmm. crashing, crashing through the hotel door oh, yeah. just like into a, the suite. Just like they show the movies, dude. Well, just everyone's like, getting their ass whooped. Back. <laughs> Everybody was getting their ass whooped and I was over there. You take uh, this girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> buttons, zippers be damned. <laughs> you start pretty. ripping articles of clothing it off was. her body one by one until she's naked as Eve on the bed before you. You're already rock it was, hard. It was pretty... Um, not uh, spectacular, if I'm being honest. Not my best performance. You, for the first time in years, fall <laughs> to your knees and begin eating her pussy, Eat her pussy. like a fresh August cantaloupe. Mm, no, didn't. I did not. You're honest. licking her vagina, mm-hmm. and then you're pumping yourself off down below mm-hmm. the edge of the bed. Good move. Yeah. Once she gets wet enough, mm-hmm. once you sense that she will accept you without a mm-hmm. word of hesitation, you slide in. Yes. You aren't able to control yourself. No. Nope. All the way up to the base of your shaft. And then Leo, recreate the sigh she released. A sigh. A sigh. That was a nice sigh. Your right hand, as if possessed by a demon, Mm -hmm. goes right for her her throat and begins to squeeze. (laughs) Her throat. Her throat. So choking. Yeah, yeah. Girls like that. Her throat. You're choking her throat. I'm choking her. Uh Mm -hmm. And then what happened? And then I uh, ejaculated in about a minute and a half. You ejaculated and then she in a died. Minute and a half. <laughs> she died. <laughs> Leo, Leo, <laughs> because the woman's refusal to call him daddy starts raining down punches with his left hand. Yeah, I'm like, like why can't you call me daddy? You, we do know yeah. that this is a hang up of Leo's. He loves to be called daddy. Mm. He punches and punches. And the next thing he knows, minutes, no, hours, hours. have fallen off the clock. Mm-hmm. And he's left with a bloody pile of <laughs> woman pulp. Yeah. In the suite at the win. He thinks bad, to himself, man. I need to clean this mess up pronto before any sort of authority figure arrives. Yeah. Leah, what's your move then? I lit the entire hotel on fire. <laughs> I That fire at the MGM was me, and um, I made it look like an accident. I did. I, 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 there were cigarettes, mm-hmm. and I kind of, kind of left a bunch out, mm-hmm. lit. Mm-hmm. I put a little gasoline on it. Mm-hmm. It lit up pretty easily. Yeah, it was crazy. And it's crazy how that, hot it gets. You looked out the window, and you saw a concert. Yes. So you pulled some guns out of your suitcase, yep, mm-hmm. and you just let them rip. Absolutely. I let them rip. Didn't hit anybody, but now they have one of those shooter situations, mm-hmm. one of those mass shooter situations. Absolutely. Government came in mm-hmm. within an hour. Leander Ottavio fancies himself a second Stephen Paddock, and you can't yeah. book a room on that floor anymore now. Nope. nope. Absolutely. Floor fourteen. And it took eighteen try. people dead yeah. to learn that lesson. Yeah. Go ahead and try. Call the MGM. Try to get a room on floor fourteen. Can't. 19 souls are no longer on this earth because Leandro D'Otavio wasn't with us during the brawl. It's true. It's true. Well, Leandro D'Otavio, you're a sicko. I'm a but sicko. But I'm glad you got laid. Thanks, buddy. Whatever it took. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was cool. You know, I um, I don't like to talk about getting laid. I don't think anybody wants to hear my be- about me getting laid, to be honest. It was really? it was an inconvenient time for you to get laid because you... You weren't there, and Mudflap had just conveniently needded to go take a piss at the exact same moment all this happened. But if I so been he good. walks back the from the bar guys. and is just like, Whoa, what happened? Whoa. Oh, man, if I was here, I would have killed everybody. You could have, just, <laughs> you have kind of just pushed Mudflap yeah. into the crowd, and just think he just would have fucked he Everybody would have been down. needed him most. Everybody like would have been down on the ground, dude. Just can, fucking. Can, can he fight, though? Can Mudflap? Mudflap, I don't know if he can fight fight, but... Whether or not he can technically fight is relevant because of his size. He was an offensive lineman in football, and that dude, you cannot move him. And yeah, he's, him, he's insane. If he takes one step forward and gives you a firm thrust with his belly, you're flying backwards yeah. Yeah, into a table, he looks like a big dude. into glasses. Oh, yeah. He would have just sumo wrestled. That would have been his fighting style. Forget boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. He would have been the sumo wrestler in that brawl. Yes. And there would have been three Mexican carcasses on the floor of the MGM. He is a juggernaut. He still had a difficult time raping Dino, though, because Dino's speed sets. It's very, very wiry. wiry. What do you have to say? Don't say it without a microphone, Solby. You've, stand, you've stood up down. here. Solby has stood up off the couch. He's got I, ha- some- I have to piss. You're not going to go shit in my toilet again, are yeah, you? No. You always go in there He's and poop. He's going to shit in your toilet. And it's the disgusting He's protein and prunes p- shit. 100% shit. I've taken two shits toilet. today. It's it's I'm I'm good for the day. How long are your intestines? You're not very tall. No. Why is, is there even room for two shits? I ate a good amount. I'm I'm a healthy boy. So what are you going to go do in my bathroom? I got to piss. All right, go. All right. All right, Swoby. We Have should... you got a call back from your girlfriend yet? Yeah. 
She Wait. called you? I was, I was going to suggest pissing into this. Wait, what? What's time out? She called you? Did your girlfriend fucking call you? Yeah. The, what? Why didn't you alert What is wrong with Leah? you? Oh, yeah. That, that was my, se- my second uh, like, what? announcement. What are you drinking? All right, can you can you get her on the phone? And she's down to, to call in on the pod? Yeah, dude. All what right, fuck mean? yeah. Why are you behind me, Swolby? Why did you not go? Are you fuck? hammered? So no, no. you're not driving. You're sleeping on my couch tonight. Dude, hey, ca- no, hey, hey, tell her right now we're calling her. And Swolby is, he walked behind me and Leo, <laughs> which weird. is the biggest unspoken rule on this show is that you do not pass behind uh-uh. the hosts yeah. where they're vulnerable. Godfather seat. We're this, these are the godfather seats of this fucking establishment. Absolutely, Leo. Nobody can attack us from behind. In fact, we need to have a booby trap set up by this fireplace. I think a bear fucking uh, one of those bear claws that catches. A, what is it? A, ba- a bear, bear trap. A bear trap. A bear yes. trap would be very nice. We need a bear trap. Absolutely. Positioned right next to this. Can we do instrument. that to fan Jerry for the video? <laughs> I'm not opposed. Also, I think we put some sort of poisonous snake up around the fireplace yeah. area. Yeah. Nail its tail down. <laughs> Yeah. Took to a piece of wood in there. I like so that. So it can't get us. Right. But if you walk behind us, you're getting <laughs> bit, Sonny. Exactly. That's all we need. Something um, with fangs. Another thing I wanted to run by when Fan Jerry, when he does his video, you think we should gerbil him? Put a tube up his ass? <laughs> put, <laughs> put a gerbil down there? Listen, nothing we do to Fan Jerry mm-hmm. is too much given the betrayals he is guilty of. Seriously. So a if we gerbil, gerbil him, ass? We, we put a gerbil up his ass, we put a gerbil up his ass. The gerbil, I mean, what's he going to complain about? The worst thing that happens is there are a few interior scratches. He has to wear a tampon and just butt to work the next <laughs> week. And not a big deal. Exactly. Good. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'll work on, on finding a gerbil immediately. The, I think you'll find a very uh, easy animal to procure a gerbil is. Yeah. It's now, we didn't talk about what we did in Texas, though. Are we going to talk about a little bit of that? I think we should talk about it. I think the most interesting thing we should talk about was our cab driver mm-hmm. on the way home from the airport. Jesus. The first one, right? The where when we got to yes. take two. So I'm gonna say this right now. Shooter, this guy made me think that Mexicans are the racist of all people. He was a Latino in a town of ninety five percent Latinos. He was he was telling us how how great the town was in many ways. It has no crime. He said there's one or two homicides a year, and it's usually some kind of emotional wife and, I don't know, uh, maybe the wife shoots a husband. Something yeah, like that. I have passion. dated some like Latina chicks, and their dads were Mexicans, and they Racist? really like the N-word. Oh, Dude, yeah. so this you're guy... You're on the right path as far as what this guy believes. Yeah, he didn't say the N-word, but, I mean... I. I don't know. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be me, and you can be the guy. All right. I go. Hey. So how's the how's the crime in uh, McAllen? How's everything doing? Oh, it's not bad, my friend. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's 95 percent Latino here, uh-huh. and this year I think we have one, two homicide. Nice. It's not bad at all. That's great. Yeah. There are no black people here, my friend. Oh. Uh, wh- what do you mean? By that. Oh, you know those ones with the uh-huh. name Shaniqua or Lavanda <laughs> uh-huh. or Jerome? Yeah. They do all the killings, my friend. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we would just be back there like, oh. <laughs> it was So he said that. And then we started fucking with him a little bit because yeah. we, we thought it was fucking hilarious how blatantly racist we yeah, this guy we didn't was. video any of this, by the way. So Leo tells him that Nico has a BLM tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and Nico's in the cab with us. And this yeah. guy's like, BLM? What? Oh, burn, loot, and murder, you mean? Yeah. Burn, he, loot, and murder? He goes, burn, loot, and murder? Yeah. Oh, well, if I see any of them uh, here in McAllen, Texas, we round up a posse and we kill him, okay? <laughs> Didn't we tell him Nico was gay, too? That's what we yeah. do, man. We we basically just have you a good go time. Under, Swoby. Come on, Swoby. You got it. Yeah, this, this guy was unbelievable. And he also said one of the best things, Leo asked him what kind of weapon Leo should buy because this guy was clearly pro-Second Amendment. The guy oh, goes, yeah. oh, my friend, you need the AR, assault rifle, oh. number 32, mm-hmm. gas-powered rifle, assault rifle. Oh. It's the same rifle that Kyle Rittenhouse used to vaccinate those Antifa members, fool. He said that exact sentence. He said, <laughs> Kyle, it's the same rifle Kyle Rittenhouse used to vaccinate <laughs> those Antifa members. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy was like a, a care, like a, 
it was like a caricature of, of like a racist Bates. Latino man. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if the, that's based. The He's Kyle, just racist. The burn, loot, and murder thing and the Kyle Rittenhouse comment were hilarious. Yeah. But did this guy clearly just had such a simplistic view of black people? Yeah, it was it was fucking awful. Yeah, he did. He this did. guy, yeah, he was <laughs> so racist. It could have yeah. been Kelly. He was racist. Who, uh, Kelly's racist? Is, is Kelly the, the on-site guy? We need Yeah, guy? yeah. He, he's definitely a racist. Okay, so he's a So we were, we were like thrown off, but then pfft, everybody in that town was pretty delightful. They were. The, we found some fat people. We did. But, yeah, oh, the, we, so we went down there to film a fattest town in America. Right, McAllen, Texas. Yeah, I'm, an, I'm going to say this, though, Leo. Uh, I'm going to pee in a second, too, and I don't mm. want to talk too much about the shoot because... I know um, a lot of it's just going to come out on video sure. anyway. But the first videos back of the year are always high pressure. Yeah. I've been off pretty much for a month, though I haven't been totally off. I've still been working and planning, but I haven't gone out and done a big time main channel video since November. So pressure builds up and you start to wonder like, oh, man, am I, am I going to have lost it a little bit? Is it going to be a slow start? I mean, how is this going to stack up to last year's first video in January? I can say, though, that when we were on that battleship, yeah. when we were on that battleship in Corpus Christi, yeah. telling a family of Indian people yeah. that when you and I were in the U.S. Navy, we took this very ship, the USS Lexington, to Miami Beach, yeah. tossed around a 20-year-old girl from University of Florida, <laughs> And then took her back to the ship yeah. and strapped her to the bow like one of the decorative maidens in the Royal U.S. Navy Wild ships. Wild times in the Navy. We yeah. told uh, an Indian family this, and we kept telling people all these fucking stories. It's crazy like, story. like we had a captain who would make everybody line up on the poop deck, compare penis sizes, <laughs> and the guy who had the smallest dick would have to fly a round trip to the Canary Islands using only Dr. Pepper as fuel. <laughs> yeah. We were just spouting bullshit about our time in the Navy and like with <laughs> on this aircraft carrier. So these fucking, these two probably 70-year-old docents, clearly ex-military themselves. Oh, yeah. They come at us like full trot, like, oh, these guys aren't welcome here. I don't like what they're doing aboard our beloved ship at all. Mm. When these guys come up to us, just moments after we've met a fan on <laughs> yeah. the deck who, who calls himself a fan but doesn't know Leo's name. Right. <laughs> it was just bullshit. So we had to punish him a little bit. The fact that these two docents pissed mm. off is all get out, mm. walk up to us right as we found this fan who we yeah. don't like too much, right. and they decide that the fan, <laughs> not me and Leo, despite right. the fact that Leo's wearing a Top Gun jumpsuit yeah. and I'm wearing a kimono and a kamikaze headband, yeah. they decide the fan is responsible for all the shenanigans up yeah. on the deck. And they start laying <laughs> into this guy. They laid him and we, of course, helped him. Like, yeah, this guy's the fucking crazy, dude. He's saying some insane <laughs> stuff. Yeah, dude. It's, it's awful, dude. He's dangling his penis off the bow <laughs> and he's, he's, got a, he's got a rockfish suspended from his penis yeah. and he's trying to catch mud yeah. sharks with just like whatever we could say. <laughs> it was the guy. best because these these Texas guys were fucking awesome. They were like, do you, son, do you know how many people died on this battleship? Do you understand what you're doing is wrong? Like they were giving them like a lecture, dude. It was fucking awesome. I've been there, dude. That ship's badass. It's really honestly awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. That's when I knew we were making magic. Yeah. And that day, the magic only grew. Yeah, there was some crazy shit that happened, man. Um, Pretty wild video. I love going to little towns like that, man. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we went to Texas A and M University, and we pitted two teenage trombone players against each other. <sighs> Dude, it's I, God has to be on our side. On our side, because we went on a Saturday to a, to a college, and I understand that there's probably not that many people there, but we always find something, right? But there were fucking a thousand kids playing to, like flute instruments the gayest yeah instruments. yeah they, like yeah. what are they, like what are they called like clarinetist yeah. french horns french horns trombones flutists just, all these kids were just playing these fruity ass instruments yeah and we just started going around like all right play a solo kid yeah all right you over there did you like that solo no what was wrong with it uh, the phrasing was all wrong oh come tell him that to his face yeah we got some these shit kids going. square off <laughs> we great. and then the the real icing on, on the cake the real cherry atop the sunday was oh, yeah. when we made nico dress up like 
It's, this is just such a long story to even tell. But basically, we made yeah. Nico dress up like Toucan Sam, the yeah. Fruit Loops mascot, <laughs> and audition for a real musical. Oh, yeah. And a coconut bra. <laughs> wearing, a co- a, wearing a little mermaid style and, like and a coconut beak, bra. And a beak, a, a makeshift beak that we just kind of figured. Yeah, we, um, we duct taped a soccer cone to his face. Yes. <laughs> that was his beak. That was his beak. And... Um, you gotta say, man. You know the uh, the theater community is very welcoming. Did he get a callback? I think he got the gig, dude. I, he he fucking. But we, we'll see, dude. We'll see. I think we should call them sometime and see if he got the gig too. All in all, it was a great trip. Yeah. I had fun every minute of it. Yeah, it was just good fucking times with my buddies Leo and mm-hmm. Nico, fucking around as we always do, on and off camera. Yeah, I'm gonna piss real quick. I went to Nobu for the first time. Oh, and what did you get? I got everything under the sun. Damn. Everything. Good discount? Everything the Japanese men are capable of slicing up, Leo, appeared on a plate in front of me and I devoured it. Did you eat the chef's tasting menu like I, I told you? I didn't get the chef's tasting menu. Hmm. But we opened with, what's the word for the raw fish that's not in a roll? Sashimi? Sashimi. I had three plates of sashimi. Damn. Three? Leo, I wasn't even paying attention to what... All was, I know, They were all like $50 a piece, dude. All, all I know is these things used to swim, and they were now dead and dead. uncooked before me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's it's how the most, they were going to stay. It's like a caveman. Now, um, what did the bill come out to? Well, I, I'm still going through the course. All right. Can we guess the number for the The, the sashimi. So that came out first. Mm-hmm. Then we moved Very along. Very expensive. We moved along to tacos, Leo. Two Those Wagyu beef tacos. Wagyu beef, right. Two sockeyed salmon tacos. Ooh. King crab were the last two. Wow. Each taco was $25 a piece. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. And then that got taken off my plate. Right. That got taken off the table, I mean. Mm. You know what appeared in front of me next? Dessert? Nope. Five slices of A5 Wagyu. Wow. Which they lit on fire. That's awesome when they A5 do that. Wagyu. You know what A5 Wagyu it's is? the best Wagyu there it's is. It's Japanese beef. Yeah. It's beef that it, it it it's that what what do they do to the Japanese cows, Austin? You might know better than me. Wagyu are just just means like Japanese cow, and they basically feed them really well, and they like massage them and shit. And then there's a grading scale on meat, like how the mm-hmm. marbling score, and then an A five is like a lot of fat in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of fat. There's a lot of stress in those cows too. You know, might not know this, but very high suicide rate amongst A five cows. Oh yeah, they have a lot of there's right. a lot of pressure on them to. Uh, you know, their bodies, Absolutely. they feel insecure if they're not getting fat enough. Absolutely. Oh, like yeah. Every cow, mother and father wants their cow son to be a video game programmer or, or in finance. <laughs> there was actually an A5 cow hanging in the forest behind Logan Paul in one unused clip. <laughs> wow. It hung itself, Leo. Wow. They bring out that <laughs> A5 Wagyu, mm-hmm. some prized Japanese cow. Mm-hmm. Fucking dead on my plate. And I eat it, Leo. It was so fat and it's salty. So good, bro. And then I said... Be gone with this. Mm-hmm. Bring me the dessert. Oh, wow. What was it? Bread pudding. Wow. And they brought me a virgin cocktail just because I wasn't drinking that night. Damn it. You should have been drinking. A virgin Much cocktail. Better. But, you know, the, the meal was fantastic. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. The real star of the night, or the real stars of the night, were in the restaurant with me. Who? Tana Mojo <laughs> and David Spade. Nice. Both of whom came over to me. And wanted me to scribble an autograph down real quick. That's nice. You signed Tana's titties? I signed the space above her vagina, Leo. Nice. <laughs> Even better. Mm-hmm. No, Even I, better. I, I was in there. David Spade's in there. And David Spade is... I'm down with him. Mm-hmm. Mostly, I'm sure Leo is too. Mostly based on rumors that he gets a lot of tail. Yeah, Tana was actually kind of a... She was kind of a bitch when I met her with Jeff Wittick, dude. I, Wittick was just at the Grove driving... And was like, whoa, uh, you know, because he knows me from your videos and he follows me. Mm-hmm. And he, he, so I go up and I'm like, hey, Jeff, what's up? And then he's like, dude, it's good to see you. Good to meet you. You know, he kind of said, see, meet you. And then yeah. she goes, do you guys know each other? Like, what the, f- why would she even need to chime in and say that bullshit? I think that whole story was just an excuse to tell the audience you've met Jeff Wittick and he follows you. And that's in a way it was, but she was really kind of a bitch. Yeah. After that iDubs video, which is one of the most legendary pieces of content ever, where he, he basically posted a picture of her screaming the n-word when she was in high school oh yeah like in a hateful way too yeah like not it's, yeah i can't believe she recovered from that it's insane dude How? and then she had the audacity later on in her career to be like listen anybody who does anything racist i have zero tolerance for right. you it's not cool right it's yeah cool. right dude yeah and then so idubs goes out to her meetup and says say 
N word. It's it's crazy. It's it's times have changed. Y'all gotta see video. Sam Hyde's video on yeah, iDubs that like just her. came out. It's really funny. Uh, but so Tana Mojo's there. But yeah. the real story to me was David Spade. Uh, yeah, he's the man. David Spade, and he's he's got the reputation as a poon hound mm-hmm. and also something of a sushi junkie in Los mm-hmm. Angeles. He's always at Koi. He's always at Nobu. And I'm sitting there, and I see him, and I'm like, shit, comedy fucking legend. And I'll say this. I started fantasizing a little bit. Oh, God. I started fantasizing. I was like, you know, what if David Spade walks by, and I'm like, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, I'm a fan of yours. He's like, oh, yeah? Yeah, what were you a fan of? And I'm like, oh, I liked you in the roast of Rob Lowe and various media appearances, but mostly I'm a fan of your coxmanship. And then he would, of course, laugh. A sincere laugh. Oh, yeah. Give me a sincere laugh. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, yeah, so bad. I actually do comedy myself. I'm a YouTuber. And he'd be like, oh, yeah? I might want to check that out. Let me see that. And then he goes on my page right there before me. He clicks on the Beatles video. Good video. He clicks on me and you in Alaska. Good video. He likes what he sees. He's like, yeah, man, I'd I'd love to come on your podcast. I'd love to make it. We should do something together. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely, man. Hit me up. Let's meet up this week. Mm -hmm. Let's get sushi. How 7 p.m. tomorrow? And I say, David, done. A little past my bedtime generally. But for you, David Spade, I'll make an exception. This is, I'm just tuned out. I'm not listening to whatever my girlfriend's saying. I'm not even tasting the sushi. I'm just thinking, yeah, David Spade, me and we'll be dining tomorrow. He's going to love my, let's do this. I'm going to strike up a conversation with David Spade. So I tell Mia, I'm like, man, she's like, what? And I'm like, listen, David Spade is paying his tab right now. When he walks out, you're going to say, what's up? Shit. Why are you going to say, what's up? Because you're a chick mm. and you got titties. Oh my God. And David Spade is weak for chicks with titties. It's true. <laughs> so David Spade, he comes walking out, and I'm fucking, I'm playing it cool, Leo. This is my posture. I like it. People listening can't see, but I'm like, I got my arm up on the booth. Really mm-hmm. good booth. Table 300. Nice. His booth always is table 400. Nice. I'm at table 300. I got my arm up, and uh, he walks by. I'm smiling at him. He smiles back. And Mia goes, hi, David. And he's like, hey, guys. I opened my mouth to say something. Froze up. It was like I was in outer space. My ability to speak, to breathe (sighs) was gone. David Spade smiles at me, says, hey, guys. Clearly is open to the idea of having a conversation. And I can't make it happen. I think you just hit him. Next time you see him, I think you just hit him straight. Just be like, hey, David, would you want to have sex with my girlfriend? I, I can watch, and I can also not watch. Whatever you want. You I'd, just I'd really your... prefer to watch, though. Right, but I'd really prefer to watch, if that's okay with you, sir. You, David Spade... He is, would respond well to that, He probably think. would. Yeah. And, and also, Leo, he's high on the list of celebrities who I would feel almost no jealousy if he had sex with my girlfriend. Yeah, he's, he's, he's probably even smaller in person. I don't remember. I saw him at Universal once, but and I met him on another time in Hollywood, but I was drunk. He's small. He's kind of a shorter yeah, guy. He's David Spade. He's, Ameri- he's, he's America's little brother. Seriously. and But not only that, he seems like a good guy. Yeah, you know? he does. He seems like a good uh, guy. His house is pimping. Really? Dude, it's like an insane $20 million spread up in them hills. Jesus. But I, I fucking blow my opportunity, and um, fucking Tana Mojo's whore ass walks in. She's uh, probably wearing some flashy-ass shit, huh? L- Mia, my girlfriend, said she saw Tana's asshole. Her right. skirt was hiked up so high. Yeah, exactly. I, I, Sarlacc. I, I, I apologize for calling Tana Mojo a whore. but she's, Sarlacc pit. It's, she's got a Sarlacc. If anything that comes near that asshole will be sucked in and digested over a period of 10,000 years. Even after Tana herself is dead, her asshole will still be digesting whatever you put in it. Oh, yeah, she gets Boba Fett's still in there to this day. Yeah, she's his armor nice. protected him. He's sure going crawl out one night. I'm sure she gets so much hate, though. So, now, uh, you know, we know the internet. So she probably, it's not a great existence. You know, it's it's probably tough. She's still probably mentally strong. I got to give her that at least. Yeah, I got nothing against Tana Mojo. Yeah, nothing. You got no. something to say, Shooter? I don't like it. No. Uh, Good. I done. Is it on site? With Tana? I'll say something, yeah. Say it, dude. What Is would you say site? to her? Oh, hey, what's up? Iron Maiden. Woo! No, I wouldn't. No, no, that's, zero, that's we're her, doing no, a role no, play. That's Tana. We're that doing, was we're doing a it. role play. Stop it. That was Tana. <laughs> what are you saying? Adidas? She goes, oh. Yeah, so it would have to be something. No, no, no. It's not. You're hey, not. She goes, she comes on. up to you and she goes, hey, are you the help? Are you Adidas wearing oh, Latino? Say, you, stupid 
<laughs> no, say, say it into the mic. Dude, say I, I it. I would say fuck you. No, stupid. no, dude, quit making this hypothetical. We're role playing okay. right now. If I was walking Hey, in, come here. Hey, hey Garcon. I'll be Tanner. I'll be Tanner. Right, Tana. No, you be Tanner first, then I'll be Tanner. Go. You, double Tanner. Go. Go, go. Okay, yeah. listen. Uh, can you get this this crew dough off my plate here? The homachi is it's just disgusting. Like, just tell the chef that he needs to quit. And also, I want this off my bill. All right, if you said that, it would be like... No, it's not if. It's I'm okay, her. Okay, okay. I would say, who the fuck are you talking to? I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's still doing it. Yeah. Get this out of my... Get this away from me. I'll, I'll probably flip the plate. No, over. do it. Do it. You're you improv. Plate, so there you go. Now, what are you what saying? Are you what are you fuck, saying to me? Fuck you, bitch. There we go. Who the there fuck we go. are you talking to like that? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Next. All right. She meets you at... You're her photographer. She doesn't know. She comes into the room. No, all right. You're about great. to... This you're, has happened. You're, so. about to, you're about to take photos of her. She goes, hi, Um, who are you? I would probably take the worst photo ever of her and just leave. <laughs> and then post it. And post it. Nice. Yeah. She goes, are you an influencer? I wouldn't even say shit. Do and you have a lot have, of followers? And I'll have it on Do you record. have a lot of followers? No, I wouldn't say shit. I mean, Get like, away I, from I, me. I know I would, a lot of people probably, follow you over the border, but I mean, like, on TikTok. <laughs> I, w- I would probably I'm hit sure you have a lot thing. of family followers. Yeah. But I would, do you I have would any? tell her, like, who are you? Like, the usual white girl mm. sucking everyone's dick. I, <laughs> I I think you're just like a homophobic photographer with shitty forearm tattoos. Yeah, well, I think you're a spoiled <laughs> little white bitch that thinks she could do whatever she wants. There we go. I think you probably can't even name two Iron Maiden songs. <laughs> what? I can I even know it's 1975 they're from East London. I know Iron Maiden. I think, can you spell Iron Maiden? I think you, those <laughs> those earrings make you look like you belong on the strip in West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think you're going to be on YouTube? You're talking to me, Tana Mojo? No, yeah, Tana. Tana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's getting. Per- we can I, do. I don't know if he's getting personal. No, like, no, no. how long do you think you're gonna be on YouTube, Danny? No, no. You're fucking. You're, you're, you're still ass- Tana, Danny. You're still oh, Tana. Oh. Don't worry about it. Um, the one funny fucking thing with the way the night ended. So there was this. I guess I can't really get into this. There was this. Uh, no, I can't get into this. I'm sorry. I can't. Get I want to know. I can't, we, I can't. I can't get into the podcast. I'm sorry. It was one of those alleys I was going to go down and explore, but I realized there's sensitive information contained therein. Yeah. Swolby, are we going to call your woman? Yeah, I'll just do it through Instagram. What? Why can't you throw it on the phone? Uh, you, can you talk on the... Can you give him the mic shooter if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah sure. Thank you. And uh, also, I want to say this. I, for some reason or another, got a big discount. I wasn't going out to Nobu without financial help. There was a discount involved. Nice. So I did. I certainly didn't pay full price. My bill came to $136. Okay, Plus, so it would have been one tasting menu, so it wouldn't have been that. Yeah, it's not. That's a good deal. Yeah, I left a, a big deal. fucking tip. But, dude, like, it was... The amount of food that came out was probably valued at, like, $1,200. It yeah. was absurd. It was great. Dude, it sounds great, man. Was it good? Yeah, it was delicious. I know. No, it was great. It was delicious. Yeah. It First probably, time? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was... Yeah, I love good. it. It was a cool scene, too. You got to try to go to the... Uh, I don't know if... It, did you go to the Malibu one? No. No, I went okay. to... Uh, I didn't go to Malibu. Nice. Malibu's beautiful, man. It's like an architectural masterpiece, the uh, restaurant. Yeah, right. Like right on the cliff. Yeah, right on the cliff. All right. Are you going to call, call her? Call her, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do it through Instagram. Okay, fine. Then give us just, yeah. just hit it and give us the phone. We're going to be real nice. All right, peace, Wolby Jr., man. I know, dude. All right, peace, Wolby Jr., dude. They lost a real motherfucker. Well, I, actually, I don't think he was created yet, technically. No, but. Yeah, just stops implantation, the plan B pill, that's all. Maybe that's just fake news. The implantation? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's true. Dr. Drew Isn't it wild that we have 500 million semen guys when we ejaculate? It, it is really crazy. Yeah. And it's only insane. one survives, dude. It's fucking well, insane. Yeah. I don't like numbers that high. I it's like an unfathomable numbers. amount of, of, yeah, of semen. Like I, I don't like space because we measure things in light years. That's too much. Mm-hmm. I don't like the idea that Bitcoin's going to become a currency because a loaf of bread's going to cost point zero 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 three Bitcoin. Right. I don't like big numbers, and therefore I don't like that I have some. In fact, I'm thinking of neutering myself. Really? I think they'll probably just come up yeah. with <laughs> different yeah. terms for different amounts of Bitcoin. Yeah, like words maybe. that we just don't know yet. Yeah, maybe, perhaps. Danny, if you neuter yourself, do you think you'd be more productive? If I neutered myself, I'd be more productive and happier, m- and I'd be able to hit high notes in opera. You could. No! You could. You I could have be to like neuter Brando. Those... I think I'm gonna have to neuter Brando. You should do it by hand. What? You yeah, should take a kitchen knife. I really don't want to. I just... Come here, 
Brando. Is it just me or is it like like I see this little creature just like my son and like he's got these balls and it's like do I have to really take him somewhere where they're gonna rip his balls? No, out? dude, you oh, literally that's, you that's, just that's get that's how they do it. They rip them out. They get a, a wrench or a set of pliers and they just they pull. Just I got an idea. If What's he up? does it like with like dressed as a rabbi and he just clips his nuts. Mm. Just as a rabbi? I should dress That'd Brando and dress what, him as a rabbi? That's what yeah. rabbis do. That's what moils do. They come and they chop the nuts off. Huh? Reverse fucking, uh, what's that shit called when they cut the fucking tip off? Cast, uh, yeah. Circumcision. Circumcision. Excuse Reverse me. circumcision, but on the ball side. You got to do it like a Christian Munich. You Neuter. just tie a Munich. string around. Isn't that what I said, Munich? You said Munich. Eunuch. Eunuch. Oh, Eunuch. I thought it was with an M. No, that's it, Germany. Okay, that's well. A, that's a city. You, take a, you do it like a eunuch. You tie a string around his balls. Until they just dry up and fall off, yeah. And then you make it into like a little necklace that you wear around your neck, so you can. Keep I might it as actually a make. I, I, I would actually wear his balls around my neck. Yeah, I think it would be good. I think it would give you sexual energy, yeah. first yeah. and foremost. But then, like the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire might bring your cat into his harem. <laughs> yeah, but I'm worried about. I just don't want to do it. But I'm going to do it. I get, I didn't do it the first year of his life because he got sick for a while. But then now he's fine, and he's starting to pee a little bit. We got it. I don't think cutting is. I mean, I know piss is stored in the balls, but I don't think that's going to solve your issue. No, no, no. It's a. It's online. It's like when you don't neuter him. What what happens is little Brando. He can smell some pussy from a mile away. Cat pussy. Yeah. Mm. So if he smells cat pussy, he's like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta let this bitch know I'm down. Mm -hmm. And he has to. He goes and like just pees a little bit. Has he been peeing in your apartment? No, but he peed. I left him at my parents when we went to Texas and he peed like a, a, a good amount at their place, which he's never done before. Well, so even I'm, with I, now the litter box. Even with the litter box. But he has not peed at my house in the last 24 hours. Um, what when, artifacts did he pee on over there? Did he find a Jewish he, yarmulke <laughs> soil? It was, it's crazy, but my father has this like little figurine mm -hmm. that it was also, it was What kind of figurine is it? It was from Africa. He climbed up. No. He uses a little hand. You know how the cats do? He uses a little hand. He fucking knocked it over. Oh, my God. Shattered it. So this is one of those like, cave person artifacts. Exactly. Depicting man. early man. Right. Black. Right. Somewhere around ten to 50,000 years ago, yes. your cat found that, knew where it came from, swatted it to the ground, shattered it, mm -hmm. then peed all and over it. peed all over it. And my, everybody was shocked. And I said, yeah, he's never done anything racist before. I couldn't just like be like, Tell listen, him guys. Yeah. the truth. Listen, there's a whole podcast about my my cat being racist. Mm -hmm. I was I, I was like shamed. I was embarrassed. Uh -huh. and I was like, yeah, that's crazy. But maybe you guys should like hide some of these artifacts you have around mm -hmm. the house, like anything African or anything like cultural that mm -hmm. he could you know get confused by. And they're like, why? They couldn't understand it. But then I just I went around the house with my mom and dad, just yeah. taking out taking out all the artifacts. Mm -hmm. One of my elder family members in my you know extended family, their house is just full of these like. 1940s or I don't know what year mm -hmm. but they're just little toys of like very racist looking black people with like watermelon and shit no way and no. they're not racist like my 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 relative is and it's just like these things that they've had for years it sounds and she kind of like collects them but might be it's like just really old fucking <laughs> racist toys and shit. That's so fucked up. Like the first cartoons, dude. The first cartoons that came out. It's were like racist. three black people with like their arms around each other. Like yep. you know, Brando with lips and Brando watermelon. Would love. He's paid he would a visit. Attack. He's paid he a visit. Would love that place. He, he also paid a visit to that mosque over on Fairfax. <sighs> Why do you don't it, fucking tell everybody it's, about it's, this? I'm telling you. Don't tell don't everybody about this, dude. I it's, told you, Brando. He's going through a time. He's changing. He's, no. I don't know what's going on with. I don't know. Who he's been hanging that, out with. That's what you call it, changing? You know the LGBT center over on La Brea? He urinated it on it. It makes this room smell like a field of lilies. Oh, my God. And this room smells like cat piss. Dude, I know, man. He fucking... And he's been spending too much time on those incel boards on dude. 4chan. Yeah, I think he is, dude. He's getting on... He's definitely in some weird Reddits, and I'm worried. I'm worried, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I've been a bad father, I guess. I guess he's he's been around me, but he doesn't like the things I like. No, he likes to go on Reddit. He, he might be doing drugs. I should drug test him. Yeah. He's probably using the deep web, ordering fucking yeah. other Crystal people's I should do passports. Crystal really? using Bitcoin oh. to buy meth. Probably Jesus. attending yeah. clan meetings. You think he's? A, you think he wears? Know. You think he puts on the little fucking? Yeah, hat? a little. Absolutely. Do you think hat? they made him a little suit? I think he gets a kitty sized burning cross. No, or a cross. Well, he, there was a cross. Then he burns it. God I damn think, it! Dude. I think, I think that's why did I have to be fucked with a with a racist cat? Who would have thought that that would have happened? Is it the environment or is it the way I raised him? What do you guys think? Like, is it just like 
Was it just he born racist, or was it the way I raised him? I told you before, it's because you've instilled it to him since he was very I young that he has superior genetics and that oh, he's this God. expensive yeah, I rare I would tell cat. him. Yeah, I did do that. And yeah. he's why he is white. I heard he went over to the ASPCA. Fuck, don't fucking... God, I told you this was an off the pod. I heard he gagged and bound a tabby cat mm-hmm. astray, mm-hmm. brought it back to your place, shame on you for not revealing this yourself, and put it in a preheated oven. That tabby cat... We were about cat, to make cookies, and he did, yeah. That tabby cat... I know where it lies. Its final resting place is the garden out behind your apartment complex. Marco Brea, yeah. Fuck. Right next to Cigar Guy's dog. Thing is, look. Mm-hmm. And Cigar Guy's dog, let's connect the dots, was black. Danny, Maybe. I don't want to tell Maybe you this. Maybe it was but your cat that mm-hmm. killed could Cigar have, Guy's it could have dog. Been. Danny, I'm not, I don't want to tell you this, but there's like a little book exchange at, you know, in, my, in my building. And it was a book by Frederick Douglass down there. Mm-hmm. And, what Brando, happened? what did he do to the cover illustration of Frederick? <sighs> Fucking, he took it out. He took it out of the little case. He he drug it on the floor for a while, and then he scratched it up like like crazy. Like you wouldn't even believe. Like he was like a werewolf or something. Oh scratched God. it up, scratched it up, oh and then it, until it looked, it was really like it, you know all the paper kind of made a little pile, and then he took a shit in it. Oh my! He God. took a shit <laughs> oh. on Frederick Drug- Douglass's dude. book, the Honorable Frederick Drug- uh, Douglass. Know, Great book, dude. When I, when I was over there too, I saw a book, A Souls of Black Folk by W. E. B. Du Bois, yeah. and it was drenched in yeah. what I'm not. I didn't get close enough to see what it was definitively, but it smelled like cat piss, Leo. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I've, I've had to remove so many books off my shelf. It's nuts. He it's fucking have... crazy. Booker T. Washington. I even had a. I just had a. I, Uncle I even, Tom's Cabin. All of them Kampf. done. All of them. I, yeah, Invisible all of them. Man by Ralph Waldo Ellison. Yep. Uh, D- Danny, I had a, a picture of uh, not a picture. It was a, it was a, a t shirt, right? Like one of those like what what are those like? It was a wrapper or a Nipsey Hustle t shirt. Mm-hmm. I have it. I, I I couldn't tell you how foul it smelled the last time I saw. I put, tried to put it on. There's I put a, it in the wash three times. Mm-hmm. It still smelled like cat piss. There's a mural of Kobe Bryant and his daughter mm-hmm. on Melrose. Oh God, dude, don't! It's close to my house. You don't think he's? He fucking spray that. There. There. He's that, been no, by there. What dude. what what I saw when I went by is there were spectacles and a devil's goatee painted on Kobe's face, mm-hmm. but it wasn't paint. It was cat feces. <sighs> Yeah, he melvined he's, Kobe Bryant with cat feces. He's he gave him the glasses, I, but then also the devil goes. He's so skilled with with his with his turds. It's incredible what he can do. Yeah, I mean, uh, Leo had to completely stop inviting black girls over because oh, dude, I Brando just kept pissing. No, no not even somebody. That's where that, Leo drew the line because Leo can't stop inviting <laughs> any kind of girl over. Based on the race. <laughs> not he. Um, yeah, anybody that even remotely could resemble a black person, he is really you know. We should take you have Cosby to lock him in the bathroom. He actually <laughs> on sunny days he's known to attack savage. Leo Shadow. That's yeah, doing. he anything dark. It's weird. Hey, uh, I gotta work. I gotta work on it with him, man. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna call a trainer. I'm, I'm gonna call a trainer. Maybe. Who knows? I can't put him down. Mm-hmm. He's my responsibility. But he's racist. What, what do you have to say, Shooter? What happened to uh, Swoby's girlfriend? Yeah, dude, call her up. What the fuck, dude? Is she already? It, yeah, I sense that she's not down, and we're getting pretty close to wrap up. Time. Swoby. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I feel bad about putting She's her on. She's probably blast. looking at herself at the mirror. Can, can we? Right? We can. We can call her up on a later podcast when the shit talking has subsided a little bit. I agree. And uh, yeah, because we don't really have time anyway. So we'll be unfortunate. Right. Yeah, Patreon, something like that. Yes, yeah, so we'll be. You can tell is uncomfortable with this. We don't want to cock block cool. the man. And uh, you can delete her handle from the uh, the Instagram. You got it. All right, guys. Well, it's been an episode of the Leo and Danny show, Absolutely. and it sure has been fun. Yes. I want to jank, thank John Middlecoff. All his information will be linked below, right, Osti? And Swolby One Kenobi and Shooter. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you for coming. Have a great Yee. day.